Welcome to North Stars Live. I'm your host, Ellie Marie Watts. Hi, and I'm Gavin Thurston. North Stars Live is back for a second week to bring you the most up-to-date Newcastle North Stars news, analysis and interviews around a game day stream. We're just moments away from the puck dropping on the North Stars' third game of the 2019 season against Perth Thunder. The North Stars played their first games of the season against the Sydney Bears and Melbourne Ice here at Hunter Ice Skating Stadium last weekend. The North Stars claimed two great wins, 4-3 against the Bears on Saturday and 6-0 uh, shutout against Ice on Sunday. It was a really great opening to the season. Yeah, yeah. it was. I think it's as good as John Kennedy could, could hope for. <laughs> yeah, that, absolutely. Um, you know, first uh, double header long week on the weekend yep. and um, yeah, to come away with two wins. I know there was a lot of nervous energy in that first game mm-hmm. against the, the Bears. When we're down three nil, yeah, and then great fight back to come back from yeah. to win four three. So Absolutely, I think the Bears would be very disappointed to have a lead of three nil mm. and then to um, give that away. It's uh, mm. yeah, yeah, it was a tough one. <laughs> it was a tough one, and the fans. Uh, I think it really showed in the fans. Oh, they're so loud. Their and fans were fantastic. They're so there. loud in the corner, yeah. and they're banging on the glass and everything like that. But it was really good to make them quiet when we started getting those goals. And, <laughs> and uh, local player Tim Stanger to get the winning goal. Yeah, so, that was fantastic. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, Sunday was not a great uh, game for Tim. No. He, um, I don't even, I didn't see it actually no, myself. I didn't see the game but, um, myself. I was yeah, away. So. There was a, an incident where Tim, I think, um, fell, hit the ice and he's done his shoulder. Yeah. I th- from what I heard, he, he ran over Rob Tassarek. And, uh, yep. and um, yeah, it looks like uh, Timmy's out for six weeks with a damaged shoulder and muscle. Mm, at and least um, six weeks, I think it was. Yeah, it, which is a, it's a shame for Tim. He, Tim was in good yeah. form. Like uh, he was getting some fitness back, and that's a big thing that John yep. has brought to the team. He's bringing fitness for the players. Um, everybody's like that's what you've seen in that first game on Saturday night where. They just kept coming and coming yeah. and coming. Their fitness really got them through that game. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But um, in saying that, you know, um, with Tim out, it's given a new opportunity to um, a whole new player, yeah. a, ro- a rookie, the yeah. first one since um, 2016, I believe it was, with yep. Liam Menring. But yep. um, Connor Schultz um, is joining the team yeah, this weekend. Fantastic for Connor. Like, he's 17 years of age. Mm-hmm. He'll be wearing number 15 out there today. and. Um, he's a local born and bred player. He, I yeah. think he's been overseas with some schooling and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, played overseas. Um, Steve Lindsay, who is in our commentary, he's coached yep. Connor. And um, so he'll have in a lot of insight to talk well, about him. Yeah, yeah about midget. And um, yeah, I, I think it's exciting, especially for a local Newcastle player to get an opportunity that yeah. JFK has given him that chance. Yeah. To, and he's been training yeah. with them too. So, yeah, um, since yeah. January. Yeah. I um, actually had a quick chat with him on Thursday, um, Connor you know before he um well just after he found out when he was he said he was called into the coaching rooms with john and joe terrio yep. he was told and he said uh, you know he was absolutely stoked and he said it'd been a bit of a benchmark That's for right. him to yeah. play in the aihl so he gets a chance this weekend well it's the biggest level you can play in in australia yeah. so you know unless you're playing for the australian team in in worlds um, this is as good as you're going to get. You're playing against quality import players and everything like that. So mm. it's you, as you said, you've spoken to a lot of the imports, and then you ask them their questions on regarding how they see this league, mm. and a lot of them do respect it and think yeah. that it's a quality league. So Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we actually, well, I actually had a chat with two of our imports um, earlier in this week in practice. I spoke to Dominic Gabay and Andre Smark um, just about, you know, being here this season in Australia and their first two games. Yeah. Um, Dom got, I think it was two goals um, last weekend, two goals and uh, two assists as well. Uh, yeah, two goals, two assists. Um, Francis, uh, another one of our imports, you know, one goal, three assists. And Sammy Banger had a yeah, cracker, four, four goals, goals, two assists. So, yeah, it seems like um, they're, they're already having a pretty yeah, well, great weekend. Like we said in that first first game, it took them a little while to get find their legs. Yeah. And then once they sort of found where they were at and everything like that um, which then rolled over to Sunday's game when they yeah. got a 6-0 win against um, who did they play on Ice. Sunday? Ice. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a blur. Yeah. But um, yeah so for them to get those points and especially Sammy Banger too yeah. like he's come out he got that first goal for us on Saturday night yep. and then he got a hat trick on, on, on the Sunday. Sunday night. So yeah. 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 It's good to see. Real, absolutely. Well, like I just mentioned before, um, we caught up with Dom uh, in practice earlier this week about you know coming to Newcastle um, to play. And do you know what? We'll roll that interview now. 
Hi everyone, Ellie here with the Newcastle North Stars and I'm joined by import Dominic Gabay. How are you doing Dom? Good, how are you? I'm really good. So yeah, you're coming off two, uh, two games in the AIHL on the weekend. You had an absolute cracker um, in those two games. How are you feeling after them? Uh, it's, it was awesome. The, the, the experience of the first two games, so I'm excited to play a couple more this weekend at home. It was a good crowd, so I'm excited to play ho home next weekend. And so for fans who might not know or have seen you yet, um, you're a new import in Newcastle this year. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, like where you come from and how long you've been playing hockey? Yeah, so I come from uh, Slovakia, from Bratislava, it's a capital city back home. Uh, and I put, I'm playing hockey since I was uh, three years old, so it's 23 years now. So just for a little while? Yeah, just a little while. And so what brings you to Australia this year? Uh, just the experience of Australia. I, I know Jan Safar who played here three years ago and I just got the ex I just heard that. <laughs> The Zamboni going past, beeping at us. Yeah. I, I just heard all the good stuff about Australia, about the experience, and I just wanted to try it myself. How, how do you know Jan? Uh, I played with him the last couple of years in France, bro, and I lived with him last season. We were roommates, so we talked a lot about Australia, about everything, and I wanted to experience uh, Australia. Yeah. And why Newcastle? Uh, well, Jan told me that Newcastle will be the best experience in Australia, so that's why I came here. And so far, so good? Yeah, it's awesome. It's been a blast, m more than I expected. And so, yeah, you've played the two, two games uh, against Sydney Bears and Melbourne Ice and scored two goals and got two assists. Were you surprised by the level of hockey that's played here? Uh, I mean, I, I didn't really know what to expect, so, like, first two games were just games to adjust to see how is the level and adjust my game. Were you surprised at all by, I don't know, were you expecting it to be uh, worse or better or yeah, just like the type of hockey that's played here? I think it was pretty good hockey, pretty good speed. Goalies were good, so <laughs> it was better than what I expected. That's excellent news, yeah. <laughs> beautiful. And um, yeah, you're here with us for the season. Are you, what are you hoping to see or do anything in particular while you're here? Yeah, I just hope that I will have time to travel and see all the parts of Australia and win the championship in the <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a good goal. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dom, and we'll leave you to it. Yeah, well, it seems like it seems like Dom's uh, loving it here so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's good to see with the expectations. You know, you just don't know what they're expecting. Yeah. Especially the Australian lifestyle mm -hmm. and everything like that, and get to go to the beaches and everything. So it's nice to hear he was pretty happy with the level of hockey we yeah. play here. Yeah. And I, I like his answer that he wants to win a championship. Yeah, so. same. We also caught up with um, Czech import Andre Smark during the week, um, and I had a bit of a chat with him. You'll see Dom again. Um, Andre's English is limited, yeah. so yeah, Dom uh, did some what's him translating, translating for yeah. me <laughs> here's that interview hi everyone ellie here with the newcastle north stars i'm joined by imports andre smuck and dominique goodbye dominique is going to translate for me uh because andre while he does speak a little bit of english he's not all that uh up to speed as of yet we're going to change that by the end of this season but we're going to have a chat with andre just about his uh career and where he's from andre where are you from uh, Czech Republic. <laughs> Tell me about your hockey career. How long have you been playing for? Takže, jak jak dlouho hraju? No, dva dva tři dva let. Dva tři dva let. Začal jsem od osmi a vlastně moje profesionální kariéra začala v osmnácti letech v české extralize. Okay, so he said that he started when he was eight years old. So he plays for twenty two years and. Uh, he, he started playing pro when he was 18 in Czech Republic. What brings you to Australia this year? Uh, my, my camarade is good, to, to, Tomáš Landa. And it's mainly that I was interested in how Australia works and how it works here. Okay, so he said that uh, Tommy Landa brought him here. They're good buddies from back home. and and he wanted to see the experience of Australia and see how, how it is here. Did you hear good things about Newcastle from Tommy? Did you hear good things about Newcastle from Tommy? Yes, it's just good, that everything, even Sydney, Newcastle and everything. Okay, so he's saying that 
he only he heard uh, only good things about Newcastle and Sydney, so that's why he decided to come. Have you already been to the beach? <laughs> every day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I've seen you going to the beach every day. <laughs> and so, yeah, you played the two games last weekend. How did you find playing in the AIHL? Was it what you expected? No, jako, že, že to řekni, že, že první zápas, jako, že, že, že to, jsem, to jsem ani nevěděl, prostě, že, že, to bylo, že to bylo hrozný, že jsem byl unavený hrozně a to, a, ale druhý zápas, že už byl super a, a že, že jsme hráli dobře. A... Yeah, he said in the first game he felt tired, so it wasn't a very good game from his side, and, but in the second game he felt better and he said it was a good game. And... Are you looking forward to facing two different teams this weekend? Či se těšíš na to, že budeme dál, proti dalším dvou týmům? No, jasně, jasně, no, jasně, jasně, řekně, že se těším na každý zápas. He said he's exciting for every game, so he's oh, looking that's forward. Good. Brilliant, well thank you so much Andre and Dom, our translator. No thank you. Well, that was the first for me. Yeah. I've never done an interview like that before. I hope they weren't like saying anything. No, that was good. <laughs> uh, it's good to see that like, you know, he's he's bringing his culture to the team yeah. and everything a bit different like we've normally only had Canadian imports yeah. so it's good to have Czech and, yeah. and that there and we'll get him working on some Aussie slang <laughs> by the time he goes back so. well yeah. it's not like he's feeling isolated either obviously yeah. he has Dom to talk with but he's and also got Tom. Richie yeah. Tassarik yeah. and yeah Tommy Lander yeah. as well so yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good he's comfortable and enjoying himself and yeah and like like he said we we don't even know what what Perth's going to bring tonight yep. we haven't seen him play like their results from last weekend probably not a good indication mm. of where they're at at the moment they they're a strong team last year yeah, so yeah. um yeah well while we're chatting about perth um yeah so last weekend they faced um melbourne mustangs it was a double header in perth yes. um it was a five zero win uh, five zero win to put Mel the mustangs on mustangs, the saturday yeah. and then it went to a shootout on um the sunday, sunday. and perth won one zero they the yeah, yeah it was rob hazelhurst who netted that win and rob um played with us last season the newcastle north stars and he's gone back to perth this season in. Yep. So yeah, it was a good showing from him. Yeah, um, well Rob yeah. played in the Australian team too yeah. in the um, world, so he was probably in some reasonable form yep. and um, yeah, I, I, I think it was a bit of a shock that first game to, to be yeah. to lose five nil um, for Perth. So especially being a home game, yeah, first game yeah. of the year I'm sure they would have had a decent crowd there and mm. the expectations pretty high. So I yeah. think they only had what two of their imports, imports as well, yeah. um, I believe. Which goes to show like we, we can't even take anything yeah. from that game last week to, to yeah. tonight's game. So um, being that they've got two extra imports that'll be there. Mm -hmm. One of the guys is 6'5", like he's yeah. a big man mountain out there. And um, yeah, so be interesting mm. to see what he brings. Well, let's quickly um, run through a bit of the Perth Thunder, what it looks like, um, because yeah, they've got a couple of really strong looking imports yeah. um, this year. So they've got, you know, Rob, uh, Rob Hazelhurst, he's not an import, but he's returned to the team this year. Um, they're Perth, um, oh, sorry, Jonathan Bremner, he returns, he's been with the, um, Sorry, no. <laughs> Jonathan Bremner, uh, he was with seven years with Perth Thunder. He's gone to the ICC, so they lost him. Yes. But um, uh, Ben Briol comes back um, as an import for the, his fourth year. Fourth year, yeah. Um, I believe he was the uh, AIHL's leading scorer mm, in 2017. 2017 um, so they've got an import goaltender this year. He's um, a Finnish goaltender, Nico. Um, yeah, he's been, his resume is yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah, he's only impressive. 22 years yeah, of age too. 20, so, 22. Yeah. Um, they've also got um, a Canadian forward, Kevin, I, I'm going to butcher this last name, <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> Pronunciation's um, hard. Villo, I'm going to say, Villo, yep. Villo. Um, so he's the, he's the oh, six, six foot five. a million yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he's I saw him walk through the door, he nearly hit his head on the door. So. <laughs> He's he's got another really strong um, uh, resume as well. Like yep. he's an NHL draftee, you know, in two thousand and seven. Um, yeah, he's played in the AHL, so you know he'll be really interesting to see out in the ice. Yeah, no, I'm very keen to see what he brings yeah. to their team. And they've also got um, another Canadian forward, um, Louis Marcotte. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Marcotte. Um, yeah, another important. He actually. Um, knows uh, Kevin as well so he's played 
played with him in previous comps. So, yeah, it'll be really interesting mm. to see these guys out yeah, in the absolutely. ice today. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So, I actually caught up with um, North Stars coach John Kennedy Jr. in practice this week and had a bit of a chat with him about the imports that Perth's bringing over, you know, what they what the North Stars might expect from them. And, um, look, we'll just let you hear that, hear that interview. Here it is. Hi everyone, Ellie here with the Newcastle North Stars and I'm joined by North Stars head coach John F. Kennedy. How are you doing John? Very well, yourself? I'm doing great, I'm yeah. doing really great. So you're coming off uh, two pretty important wins, uh, first round uh, wins here at home and we're going into two more games, um, first against Perth Thunder on the Saturday. How are you feeling going into Saturday's game? Um, confident, I mean I feel like the boys have worked hard during this week. Um, yeah, like we did well last weekend but that's behind us and we're looking forward. Um, we do expect a team that's going to be a little bit stronger, um, that's going to test us defensively, so uh, we look forward to the challenge. That was something you said um, after last week's games, you know, you, you didn't feel like you were challenged defensively and, or enough, quite enough. Do you think this, um, this Saturday's game against Perth Thunder will, will do that? Absolutely. Um, you know, they always put forth a good team, a team that usually is a contender for uh, the top four in the finals. So that's what we expect. Um, I know they have all their imports. I'm pretty sure they have an import goalie that's very strong. So um, we're, we're looking forward to, you know, like a battle on yeah. Saturday night. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, I was going to ask about that. Their um, three import their forwards, I should say, yeah. uh, look really strong. And they've also got the uh, Finnish uh, import goalie as well. So, yeah, they look like they've really got, like, imp well, recruited strongly in the off season. Oh, absolutely. And uh, uh, hats off to Stan because he does a great job at that. Um, their goalie, yeah, he's a young kid, but uh, I reckon he can... You can put forth, you know, three periods worth of strong play. And like you said, when you have three import forwards, you can expect uh, a lot of, uh, you know, intensity, a lot of bang power that they have, you know, all throughout the game. So we'll, we'll be expecting that. And there'll be a bit of a change in our game on the weekend. Um, Tim Stanger suffered a shoulder injury, but um, there's been a bit of a rookie call up. Uh, yeah, so uh, in regards to Timmy's injury, yeah, he'll be out for at least six to eight weeks and that'll be ongoing. But um, yeah, we uh, signed uh, young uh, Connor Schultz to uh, the program. He's been a kid that's been up and coming in the Newcastle region. Uh, he's played uh, some hockey overseas, but it's good to be able to uh, bring him and uh, have him sign with the team and uh, be a part of the boys because he's definitely put in the hard yards during the, our training camp and in the off season. And uh, I feel like he'll do well in this league. Has Connor been training with you since January? Absolutely. So um, he's been training with us, training with the midget team as well. And, uh, you know, the kid has a lot of speed and talent and, you know, he has some growing to do and we're going to develop him. So we're really excited to have him. And something we did speak about um, previously is, you know, having these um, younger players training with the North Stars and for opportunities like this, you know, in the AHL. And I spoke with Connor before and he said, you know, this has been a benchmark for him. He's completely over the moon. So it's really great to see a fresh face in the um, in the team, especially because I believe uh, Liam Manwaring was our last rookie and that was in 2015. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, uh, it's great for him. It's great for his family. And, uh, you know, like you said, just the, the smile from ear to ear when, uh, you know, Joey and I walked into the locker room and told him that. And that's what it's about. You know, we want to show these kids that there is a pathway to get to the AIHL and that, you know, whether or not you pursue going overseas or if you're playing here that, you know, if you work hard, these things can happen. And like, that's what he's done. He's worked hard. He's a kid that loves the game. He's very coachable, uh, has a great attitude on and off the ice, and a great character. So we're uh, very fortunate to have him. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us, John. No worries. Thank you. Well, that was a great chat I had with um, John just about what he's expecting yeah. um, in the game. And yeah, I think we'll uh, go up to Pete in the commentary booth now. It's Pete and Steve Lindsay, well, Pete Lambert and Steve Lindsay. We'll have a bit of a chat. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> it's working. Hello? Good evening. Hi, <laughs> there you are, sorry. <laughs> How's it going up there? Oh, we're going well. Uh, looking forward to another call here with uh, the AHL, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, well, Pete, what are you expecting from today's game? I think it's going to be somewhat similar to last week's game when we had the Sydney Bears here. Um, uh, they're going to be what we imagine is a top four team. Uh, they've brought in a couple of new imports that are looking really good. Uh, they've got some really good talent in that team. Uh, they've uh, picked up um, Rob Hazelhurst, of course, because he came out for a season with us yeah. and back to Perth. And uh, they've got uh, Jamie Woodman's now, the captain. I think they're going to be a tough team to beat. Uh, as always, Stan recruits well. And, 
and uh, it's, it's going to be a good tight battle tonight. I think these teams are too, pretty even, so it should be an exciting game to watch. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we were just talking before, we have a rookie on the team, one of yeah. our first ones in quite some time. Well, more than that, it's I think it's the first time we've had someone this decade uh, <laughs> do a debut at home. So yeah. all of our debuts recently, uh, Liam and Waring and Hayden Sheard, yeah. and those guys were always away. So I can't even remember the first, the last guy to debut at home and have to do the uh, the traditional skate around on your <laughs> own out there on the ice before the rest of the team well, joined. What an exciting to see! Yeah, it's happened while you guys were on. Oh, oh I missed yeah, it. Yeah, you missed it. Yeah. <laughs> so he went out for a solo skate. Uh, it's pretty standard to oh, uh, to get the rookie for that. So yeah, oh, well done to the guys. That's awesome. Mm. Alrighty, Pete. Well, I think we'll uh, come back here and we'll wrap it up, and then um, you know, get this show on the road. You guys can take over. Doing great. See you soon. See ya. Well, uh, there's just one more aspect that we'd love to talk about. Yeah. Um, tonight's game is being played in honour of a North Star who unfortunately passed away um, this month, um, yep. Mike Blackwell. Actually, last weekend. Last weekend, Michael, Michael Blackwell. Blackwell. Yep. And Mike played for us in 03 and 07. I actually played with Mike in 03. Um, yeah, we got the news, I think, on Sunday yep. that um, he'd passed. Uh, he was living over in the States, in Texas, yeah. as far as I know, and had a car accident at... In at, at night, yeah, for, from what I hear, yeah. so um, our condolences go out to his family and friends and, and everything. Um, he's a North Star, he's always going to be a North Star, and um, yeah, it's not good when a fallen North Star. Yeah. And so, I think there's going to be a bit of a tribute to him tonight, yep. And um, yeah, I think we're doing that now. Well, we're just moments away from the puck dropping. Thank you to tune for tuning in to North Stars Live. Um, stick around for the period breaks, we'll have some bench side interviews and the post game show. So, bye for now. Live from Hunter Ice Skate Stadium in Newcastle, this is AIHL TV. The regular season is brought to you by Air Canada, who offer the only daily and non-stop service to Vancouver. For details, visit aircanada.com.au. Omus. Omus are a direct infrastructure investor with a portfolio worth in excess of $50 billion. ATC Productions, your live event technical provider and APA Group, delivering Australia's energy. Tonight, here we are for this AIHL game. It's Peter Lambert here with Stephen Lindsay. Welcome back, Steve. Uh, so fantastic to be back, mate. To be able to watch AIHL again is wonderful. I've been watching a lot of hockey over the last few weeks, uh, mm -hmm. overseas, yes. uh, following the Australian team, the Mighty Roos play, but uh, just wonderful to come back here to Newcastle and yep. watch the North Stars play again. That's right. More and more hockey for you. <laughs> and also the midgets, of course, coaching them. Of the course, Newcastle yeah. And they're topical team, so tonight with... Uh, there's a lot, lot, a lot of stuff that's happening in, uh, in hockey. But it's been so interesting talking to the people about what happened last week in regards to the Newcastle North Stars. It really does appear that we've now got the situation where we've got a team that's really good. 
Yeah, we do. Uh, they really do look pretty sharp this this uh, season, and um, it's going well. Uh, so, yeah, a couple of point, talking points for tonight. So uh, we had passing of Mike Blackwell last week. You knew him, I knew him. Uh, Gav played with him. Uh, so that's all involved. And then we've got a quick tribute about to come on ice right now. And then the other uh, thing we've had, uh, Tim Stanger was injured uh, last uh, last weekend. And uh, that meant that Connor Schultz get a call up from your team, the Midgets, up into the HL team. It was interesting listening to uh, Ellie say that she had a quick conversation with him mm. because that's exactly right <laughs> for two reasons. <laughs> One, that's all he gives. He is quick, and two, he doesn't talk a lot. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but he's very, very excited. I had a couple of conversations with him about him playing today, and he's very, very excited about the opportunity. And he'll he'll do well. He's he's a great kid. And uh, everything that I know that uh, John and Joe, the coaches of the Newcastle North Stars, ask him to do, he will do. He'll yep. do in spades. Yep. So I didn't mention, of course, it's the Perth Thunder tonight. So welcome to everyone watching from Perth. Uh, great to have you uh, with us tonight. And, uh, of course, home team, Newcastle North Stars. For those uh, watching overseas, I know we've got people watching from Norway, from UK, from uh, Canada. I've normally... Um, Normally, uh, uh, Sammy Banger's uh, family is watching, uh, Bert Malloy's family is often watching, and often live. They stay up until early hours of the morning or get up really early to watch the game. So, uh, lots of dedicated fans, yeah. Well, that's a great product as well, too. Mm. I mean, I'm really looking forward to watching uh, Bert Malloy play. I mean, uh, he joined the Mighty Roos late in Serbia mm-hmm. and uh, probably didn't get a chance to uh, showcase the talent that he has, which we all know he has, mm. uh, because he joined the team so late, in fact, just before the first game. So, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do here in his own environment where he's comfortable where he's captain where he can make a huge difference and he will he will make a huge it difference. did make a difference last uh, last week and and uh sammy benger has been given the a with um matt wattini uh, out this year uh, he's got you know he's uh, got two uh, little girls to look after he's yep. got a family he's working all uh so oh, we completely understand that he needed a rest and, and uh, to do some real life for a change <laughs> instead of just hockey and uh, so uh, Sammy Banger is now wearing the A, and he showed it last weekend. He really showed some leadership, and JFK's got a bounty of leaders in that room. So. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Uh, Sam is a quality person, showed that last year, so he's only just continuing on really from, from, from that. Yeah. Um, Matthew Lindsay, a great assistant captain as well too. So, sure is. I mean, exactly what you're right. There's uh, tremendous uh, leadership in that, in that room. And I think that's going to bode well for this season. It's obviously mm-hmm. started well. It's yep. got to keep going for 28 games. That's the crucial thing. So we've had uh, some introductions up on ice. We've got a few players new to the uh, rink this year. So we've had uh, some new imports come in. Uh, you heard some of them tonight. There was uh, Dom Goodbye, uh, was translating for Andre Smach. Uh, we've got uh, Jaden Ryan, who's played uh, played for Bears years ago, but um, he's been uh, last several seasons playing in the East Coast uh, Super League, which yeah. is kind of the feeder league for the AHL, playing for the Raptors. And... Uh, uh, we've also got Connor Schultz, of course, we mentioned, has played up uh, from midgets from your team up into AHL. Yeah, look, he's an Australian under-18s player. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is probably the next uh, d- uh, stage in his development, moving along so that he gets more experience with bigger, stronger, faster players so that it's going to help him enormously next year. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity for him. I just uh, hope, and I'm sure he will, that he takes it, listens, understands, and does everything he's asked to do. Of course. So uh, there's a few changes for the Perth Thunder, of course. As we mentioned, they've got Rob Hazelhurst back, who played last season for us here in Newcastle. Nick Windle's their backup. Well, he played for the North Stars in 2002, one of our first ago. ever goalies. So. A while ago. Yep. So uh, Nick's filling in for them in his backup. And uh, we've also got um, uh, so a couple of new, a couple of new uh, imports playing for them. So uh, we've got uh, Marcotte and Vuyo, uh, along with uh, regular guys like Ben Bro, and in net they've got uh, Nico Vixton. So we're going to have the anthem in a moment. We're also going to have a short tribute to Michael Blackwell. Uh, he was a mate of mine too. Uh, goes right back to 2003 when he came down from Queensland, played in the Cyclones in 2001 in this building, I believe. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll be quiet in a moment as we um, play the tribute. So Ray's coming nice to speak about him.
a great character. He was an energizer bunny type of guy. Oh, absolutely. And so much energy. Thought, is a Queenslander? Yes. He was a Queenslander. Brisbane area. And we go to the national anthem now. Candice Tan it will sing for us. That time, Steve. <laughs> Guys, we're on the ice. We've got 15 minutes on the clock. We're about to get underway for this Australian Ice Hockey League game. The Perth Thunder and the Newcastle North Stars. What a and tingle! Eh? What a tingle game. on the arms! I mean, this is going to be a sensational game. I can feel it already. I mean, certainly Perth haven't come all the way over here just to <coughs> lay over and play dead. I mean, they're going to be out at 100 mile an hour. Actually, was it Perth just last weekend? Our plane, got, our plane got sorry, our plane got diverted. <laughs> we had to land in Perth instead of coming to Sydney. Well, here's a bit of trivia for you. They haven't scored a goal since finals last year. Wow. And had two goalless games. Good so point. That's right. We'll see uh, if we can get some goals up here for the Perth, Perth Thunder fans tonight. Uh, I mean, a shootout goals don't count. I'm glad a shootout goals don't count as a, as a, as a goal as such. Well, they do have such strong defence with Woodman, Hunter, uh, uh, Hazelhurst joining him again this season so mm -hmm. they certainly have some talent at the back I guess it's getting those forwards to put the puck in the net that's going to be their problem yeah, um, well. luckily for them the Newcastle North Stars defence isn't allowing <laughs> really that to happen yeah we'll see they've got some pretty good players so on that uh, subject yeah for the North Stars a really good uh, you weren't here for this one Steve were you watching last week uh, I did get a chance to see some of Sunday's game. Some yes. of Sunday's game. So, uh, had some really good games from uh, from locals and from imports. Sammy Bangor, I think, was a special. You've got a, you've got a hat trick on yeah, Sunday. It's better than that. So, here, a drop the puck on the game. We're underway. And Hazelhurst will quickly unload it. He gets it back and he's down to the right wing. That's chipped in deep there. Uh, that's by Kevin Villiel. Around the boards it goes. Dave Ferrari getting a touch on that. And it's off of the Zamboni. It was a skate and bounces out for Liam Winwaring. And he does manage to clear it. And some pressure there on the defence of the Thunder. Some help from Hazelhurst as he comes across the help out to Quiddler. And players going on. Everyone's a bit rusty on the skates, Steve. Your players falling over everywhere. Well, it's obvious what the North Stars wanted to do is throw this line out with energy and get some pressure on the Thunder. And that's exactly what's happened with Naden and Southwood out there. It was fantastic pressure. Well, they did. That was what they were very good at last week was uh, lots of energy. Without Tim Stanger, this uh, this game, I hope, I'm not sure if he's in or if he's watching, but uh, hi, Tim, if you're tuning in. Into the corner it goes, and the Thunder try to bring it out in front of the North Stars net. It's out to the point instead, and we're waiting for a shot on net. No, he's running around. Uh, that's uh, Jimmy Woodman, the captain with the puck. Into the corner it goes, and McMahon is there in the corner. They battle for the puck, and out it squirts and goes to the far side past the referee into the corner. Picked up by Newcastle, and they'll try to bring it out, and they'll take it up the left wing. Sat back in there by Pundla. But it's picked up by Bagger. He's going to go down the right wing. Protects the puck and gets it deep. Newcastle got a man in front. And Pumla goes for a tag on Jaden Ryan. Right now it's Drolet with it. They're trying to get in front. He does get it, but it's cut off by the defence of the Thunder. And Bagger has it now behind the net. Working behind the net. Gets it out, but picked off there. And carried away by Kieran Webster. Into the zone comes Goodbye. Puck is Ooh, bouncing, takes a hard hit it, in the yeah. face there 
from Punter, and Punter's going to go. He knows that he completes to the referee, but arm is up. So Newcastle playing the advantage right now, and here comes the extra man. That's Shane Southwood, the jester on the ice. Here comes Newcastle changing, and they've got a shot on net. It's deflected there by Vixton. Up to the point, Newcastle with numbers. Through the screen, off a skate into the corner. Perth first to touch, they do, and that stops play with 12.39 left in the first. Yeah, there was either going to be interference or a charge. Uh, unfortunately, Bunnell didn't quite get his feet in the right position to put a proper hit on, so he just stretched out for it, and uh, our referee, Joe Ma, was right there and picked that up relatively quickly. And Jaden Ryan must have had his eyes as big as saucers just sat on the <laughs> ice there with Sam Banger. Drew holy dooly. I mean, he must have been so excited. Yep. He's had a couple of good opportunities, and he has been playing in this line quite a bit. Uh, maybe not in power plays, but definitely in regular play. Newcastle win that face off to start with. They get it to the point. Walking the blue line right now to the top of the umbrella. Waiting, taking a shot through the Ooh. screen, and a deflection goes wide. I think Hazelhurst might have got a touch on that. Cross it goes. Fake. Working it down goes Andre Smuck, and he'll get it back there with a no look pass. A bit of a risky one, but no harm done. Look, Malloy out there working with him. Into the zone. Goodbye. Fakes. Goes. Going to drive the net. Oh, couldn't bring it back on into the five hole of Vixton. It was a nice move. Hazelhurst will watch him. It's now to draw lay. And he's working around the circles. Gets it across ice. Now to goodbye. Now to the top. Shot on net. Saved by Vixton. It's loose. Man in the crease. He's trying to get out and score. Oh, is it in? It's it is. Yep. Yeah, they've blown it in. Holy moly, Vic. A Malloy bangs that in. What a goal. Uh, they'll be complaining about the man in the crease, but that was part of the play there, and he was trying to get out at the time. He also didn't impede on the goalie, so no. I think that's why they've blown it as okay. It's the old story. You keep playing until the whistle blows. There's a few of the Thunder players probably thought that uh, the goal, the, this can actually have the puck, and it should have been called up, but it's no way. It was still loose. We could, right in front of us, we could see that it was still loose. And Malloy, just using the kind of tenacious uh, attitude he has, is at the puck, at the puck, at the puck, and it's in. More stars up 1-0 quickly, and uh, Vixen not happy with the net being off its moorings. Goes for a skate and stops play. It's knocked off in the play descent. Back underway. We've got 11.50 left in the, in the first period, and right now the Perth Thunder have the puck. Woodman sends it up the boards. Scooped and quick shot on that there by Pat Naden on the local boys here with, out with men wearing. He's also a local kid. And as I mentioned, probably our last debut for the North Stars. They haven't had many lately because it's, it's been a stable team and still is for the most part. Nice fake move there by uh, Jake Ruck and Newcastle get possession back. They're going to carry it in to the Perth zone. It's dumped in there by Shane Southwood and chasing it is men wearing. He's down there with Pungla or Woodman, pardon me. In front shoot Ooh. save. Another shot attempt. Loose score. Man Waring picks Waring. up the scraps and puts it in from the middle of the circle. Man Waring, holy moly, is he excited about that? Boom, what a shot, and it's in the net. That was a very, very, very well set up and crafted play done by Pat Naden. Pat Naden did all the work over there on the right yeah, hand he's side. He's looking so good this season. To get that puck to come in front of the net. So that was a really, really well crafted goal simply because of the energy and that's what you're getting out of this team you can see it Pete they're at the net they're getting pucks to the net they're getting bodies to the net they're making things happen yeah very hungry this young line too and we're going to stop a play it might be that Dave oh, uh, Dave Rucks called Dave Rucks timeout, called timeout he's, he's got so. to. I mean they've been uh, caught on their heels there's no doubt about that and certainly the penalty didn't help uh, and Alistair Punnell wouldn't be impressed with himself for picking that up uh, so it's obviously put the thunder back on their heels a little bit so really Coach Ruck just needs to settle them down, get them back into the defensive patterns that they should have because the problem they've got at the moment is the North Stars are getting to the net. Mm. So they're putting Skin under incredible pressure that he doesn't want or need at this stage of the game. We're only four minutes in. So there will be a lot of focus on defensive structure right now. Yeah, well, North Stars can't take their foot off because, as you might have seen, Steve, last week, North Stars were down 3-0 pretty early in the first period and mm. they end up winning that game. So... Yep. Uh, We'll see, we'll see who puts it together now. Hazelhurst, nice move to send it back. He's taken off that uh, artwork of a beard he had going there. <laughs> I don't know if Katie was that impressed with it. The chance in front, nice pass, but it's picked up there by Newcastle D. We're covering the man. Goodbye, backhands it and gets it out of the zone. 
I think he does, yes. And Newcastle trying to pick it up. And it's bouncing off people trying to pass it to sticks so like in the air at the moment. Here we go, Newcastle carrying it now. Into the zone they go. We've got some traffic. Hazelhurst to chip it away from Richie Tasarek. Across it goes. Chance shot on net. Deflection saved by Vixen. Into the corner and Newcastle keep it in the zone. Shot on net. Whoops. Matt Lindsay's back. Another shot. And they double back quickly as the player reverses. Thunder. Take a shot and it's blocked it away there by Dane Davis. Into neutral ice. Newcastle will carry it. Into the zone they go. Richie Tassarek. Shot on net. Save. Vixton wearing 31 for the Thunder this year. Under the tape there of Drolet, French Canadian. Top of the circle. Drifts in. Picked up by Banger. He'll knock it off the boards to himself. Hazelhurst watching him to the top of the to the point. Tesserick in the corner to Drolet. In chance. Oh. And turned aside by Vixton. Right, Molloy comes in to scoop up the puck. Bounces off a stick and bouncing from Richard Tesserick will pick up in the corner. Gets the puck back though. Gets it the corner. Time and space been taken away, so Semi Banger goes in to try and pick it up. Rob Hazelhurst now behind the net. Jolly watching him. And it's through the sea of players and up to the far end. That's actually icing on the Thunder, so some more pressure on them. And actually, it's not a bad play if you're a Perth Thunder player because the pressure was intense there from the North Stars. So to actually get it, to give them this chance now, even though they're still the same players on the ice, they can't change, mm. it gives them a chance to still recover a little bit. It was a clever play there by Hazelhurst to bounce it off the glass. So better to have a 15-second break than none at all. Well, I should give it to the goalie <laughs> right now and get a face-off. But anyway, they haven't done that. Well, so. the rules have changed, remember, so that's not as easy yeah, as it was. Yeah, but you do it by accident, Peter. Oh, of course you do, <laughs> Stephen. It's always an accident. Dumped in. Picked up by Pat Naden. The architect last chance of trunch. Oh. Saved by Vixton. Southwood right in the right place there. And Lehman Waring, he's got the blood flow at the moment. He's feeling good after that previous goal. Knocked down by Southwood. Looks. Pass. Nice shot on Ned. And Vixton slides out and smoothly steers it away. Kept it at the blue line. No, chipped through. Into the neutral ice by the Thunder. And Newcastle will get it back on their sticks. And will dump it across ice and into the, north, uh, into the Thunder zone. Pardon me. Shot on Ned by Naden. Turned aside by Vixton. And there's a foot race on for it. Quick to the net. And a shot goes wide. And right now there's a battle near North Star's bench for the puck. It's loose and be picked up by Dom Goodbye. And we've got to stop a play. Got too many men on the ice for the North Stars. So a two minute delay of game. Well, too many men penalty coming to the North Stars with 8 18 left in the first. And it's a chance for the Thunder, Steve. Yeah, it looked like a bit of uncertainty around actually both gates, the D and the forwards gates, then as to who should and shouldn't have gone on the ice. So. Yeah, it's obvious where that unfortunately then came from. So uh, we'll see now if the Thunder can put the pressure on and get back into this game. Penalty kill coming. Chance for the Thunder to get back with, after being 2-0 down early in this game. Knocked down by Wooden, I think it is. Yes, it is. And shot on net. Then aside by defence. Drolet alone, but he's got man on him. Woodman and... Woodman controls him well. Drolet gets it back and into neutral ice and scanning forward onto it. There was Malloy. He's out there with Lindsay. Lindsay will dump it in. Across the red line, so no problem there, although we'll kill the penalty anyway. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, yeah, I know the rules. <laughs> Marcotte. It's the pass away and it's carried up ice there by Ben Bro, and we're going to stop a play with 7.36 left in the first 2-0 lead for the North Stars there's one eighteen left in that penalty yeah, the North Stars are looking very good on the uh, penalty kill here as well too uh, both the special teams have obviously had a lot of work done on them and everyone looks comfortable and controlled out there and when you need to get rid of the puck the puck's being getting rid of very quickly face off and that's one by the Thunder back it goes to Kudla he will dump it in and there's a foot race on and Kieran Lipster Beats the North Stars defence to the puck. Back to Kudla. Keeps it alive. Knocked off the puck there. And it's thrown down ice by the North Stars defence. Under a minute now. Remaining in this channel, in this penalty kill. Into the zone. Skates Markov. He's turned aside. And it's Kudla back on the puck in neutral ice. Newcastle get a partial change. Kudla fakes. Takes a shot. It's off some... 
Play is gearing into the netting. Stop a play, 6.57 left in the first. And I think where the North Stars have been, would be very comfortable where the game has started here is there are not many shots on Davis. Uh, there's been a few opportunities for the Thunder to get into the zone, but the shots haven't been on net. They've been wide. They can keep doing that all night long, obviously. Face off. And this looks looking like a winger win for the Perth Thunder. Winger win. I didn't think that was a tongue twister. <laughs> it's early in the season, Steve. <laughs> You're doing great, mate. Yeah. I need maybe some beers to lube up. In a neutral ice. And getting back for it is Woodman, the skipper. Gets his pass away. And into the zone they go. They're still on the power play. Woodman carries himself. Fakes. Takes the shot. Faked nope. himself. Faked it. Faked it. Double fake. Spins around, gets it down behind the net. Newcastle get there to meet McMahon. And Newcastle have their player back. Puck is loose. Great penalty kill by the North Stars. There was hardly any opportunity for the Thunder at all then. There's Hamish Powell seeing that one, and he's quickly putting his energy into the game. Quick shot towards net, turn aside. Chipped off the glass there, a little risky. Suppose he's in deep in the zone, so he can't get a penalty there. Stop a play, 5.57 left in the first. It's 2-0 North Stars. I've been very impressed with Jamie Woodman for the Perth Thunder. I mean, he is the captain. He is obviously one of their leaders, but he's been really leading on the ice. It's so obvious. He's setting the plays up. His vision is wonderful, and the players are looking to him as well too. So he's going to have to start getting something happening for this team. Well, he's doing it the right way. He's leading. He's got plenty of speed, putting plenty of effort in. North Stars carrying the puck. It's getting out of their zone up the wing. Anger gets around one. He's got some space. He hands it back to Drolet, who has to deal with Pundler. Anger goes back to help him out. He'll get the puck along the half boards. Back to Ryan. And unloading it to Paddy Ward. Around the boards it goes. And Kudler will shovel it out of his zone. A Ferrari goes back to pick it up. Puck goes back to Kudler. Neutralize. He gets some help there from Pumla. And in 19 is McMahon. Newcastle still the puck chance. Shot goes well wide there by Jane Ryan. To the top. In comes Banger. Watch out. He was very dangerous, including a wraparound type of goal last weekend. Getting some help there from Jane Ryan to the point now. Quick shot on it is off some player gear and into the corner. Banger retrieves. Spins about, gets it deep to Drolet. Shakes off McMahon. Gets it in front. Banger can't get a shot away. Ryan's there. He get the puck though. And kicked in there <laughs> by uh, Paddy Ward, is it? Yes, yep. it was. Yep. yep. Won by the North Stars, but it's out of the zone. So into neutral ice they go. There's 4.30 left in the first. 2-0 the lead for the North Stars. We're at equal. Uh, no penalties at the moment. The reason the North Stars have been so dominant so far is that their cycle game in the offensive zone has been outstanding. There's no way that Perth can beat it at the moment. They've Watch out, no Rod Hazelhurst got the puck. Scores! Gets a beautiful pass away and Perth get one back. Rob Hazelhurst setting it up. Yeah, Razel, again, it's the Thunder's defense. It sets everything up for them. And here, Rob Hazelhurst did all the work there to get the puck into the zone. And then a really, really good shot. Obviously, the double pack, double pad stack didn't work there for Davis. No, they got it over the Davis stack. Yes, it didn't quite work. But uh, full credit to the Thunder for doing that. But it, it said it, it, it's a bit of a run against the play because the way that the North Stars have set up possession with their cycle game in the corners has been really, really good. Well, that's the first goal of the season for the Thunder. <laughs> in regulation. <laughs> in regulation. Oh, well, shootout goals don't really actually count as a goal. So. No, that's true. Um, yeah, the first... Goal, goal. I was Back just trying to help him, mate, that's all. You're very kind, Steve. Into the zone they go. Quick stop there by Schmack. Oh, look at this. Watch out. I think he can... I mean, he's not a natural scorer, but I'm sure he can score plenty good. That was great hand skills. Yeah, he's very, very talented. He's I think he played with Yager as well mm. in the Czech League. So he played for his team, the team that uh, Yager now Yager owns. owns yeah. Perth Thunder now. Trying to keep a handle on the puck and they'll just shovel it in as they uh, need to stay on side. So Newcastle with possession, trying to bring it forward into neutral ice. Here they come. No. Uh, muff. It was, uh, it was the Alvillo. Uh, Velo was the uh, scorer for that goal, by the way. 
And Rob Hazelhurst was the uh, man with delivering the pass, as we saw. Very nice job by him. Fixton stops the puck as Pal gets a touch on it coming through. We've got a stop on play with 3.04 left in the first. Yeah, the energy from the North Stars is really, really good. It's uh, putting a lot of pressure on the Thunder that uh, they're probably not ready for at this stage of their road trip, uh, being that they've just landed here. So if the North Stars can keep that pressure going, I'm pretty comfortable this is going to be a good period for them. They lead it at the moment. We've got three minutes of it left. Pundit out. We'll pass the puck to Bro. And it goes into the North Star zone, but they're offside, so they're going to double back. Now it's a neutral ice, and Bro will glove it down. He'll take it himself to. So it's not a hand pass, and it's dumped in into the corner. Newcastle retrieves the head puck. They'll try and bring it out. And they do get a neutral ice, but got him, yeah. into a hospital pass. Uh, Jaden Ryan taken down hard there, and he, it's drawn a penalty. Saved by Vixton with the one-timer shot there by Paddy Ward. But uh, Jane Ryan shaking up a little bit. But we've got a, looks like McMahon going to the to the box for a couple of minutes or more. Yeah, it looks like he's only going to give him two for that. Uh, it looked bad. I think it's only because Jane Ryan turned just as he was spinning. So he was sort of pushed against mm. the board. So I'm not sure if he's been given a boarding call or not, but uh, it just looked bad. It's hard as a as a defender player in that situation when a player is spinning and you come in to uh, to with a check. It's very difficult. Cross ice and that's intercepted by the stick there of Webster to the point. Newcastle still holding possession. Banger though gets it to the top of the circle. Loose in front, picked off by Hazelhurst, and he's got some wheels. He'll go up the right wing for the Perth Thunder. Fakes or well, loses the puck, I'm not sure. <laughs> and Smark smothers him in the corner. Chipped along, and they'll break out on the left side, but uh, a little risky, but they get it up at mid ice. Carried into the zone. Nice move by Francis Drolet. Great skill. You can see those French Canadians are so silky smooth with the skating and the stick skills. To the point. Can't get the shot away, Schmuck. And the Thunder are going forward. Bro, watch out for him. He's got a great shot. Save. Ooh. Beautiful save Ooh. by Davis. Flashing glove there. 133 left in the first. Still 2 1, Steve. Oh, that's a wonderful save there by Dane Davis. Just flashing the leather out there and throwing it in the air so everyone knew he had it. That's the kind of stuff that people want to come and see. And uh, the hand clapping tells you that's what people want to come and see. That's, that's right. Exciting. So a face-off in Davis End, although North Stars are currently on the power play. They have a minute of that left. And uh, pass across ice. Into the zone goes Manwaring. He's got some pressure there from Pundler. He's in front of the net. Also in front of the net is Pat Naden. Taking his licks there. Into the circle. Tesserick fakes. Can't get it back. It's bouncing around. Loose. Picked up there oh. by... Tesserick shoots and through the crowd and out the other side it goes without hitting that. Matt Lindsay back on the side. Last minute of the first period now. Into the zone goes Lindsay. Nice move. Where did he pick that up from you, Steve? <laughs> nah, that's all his own, mate. That's all his own. <laughs> that was some slick moves there. Well, he's been practicing a lot against uh, Jamie Woodman overseas, so maybe that's what it was. Oh, uh, yeah, they roommates? <laughs> they weren't roommates, no. but they spent a lot of time together. Very good. Into the zone, Newcastle Cup. Pass inside, it's off the stick there. Dave Kudler is uh, watching carefully. This is dangerous. Yeah, Thunder have numbers. And that's wide in the last 20 seconds of the first now. Hazelhurst. Long pass under the stick there of Webster. He's taken down hard. Stopped by... Loose Park is stopped by Davis. We've got just under 12 seconds left in the first. Yeah, so often we see this happening where you can be on the power play, you can really be... Everything's going well for you, and then all of a sudden it just turns the other way and uh, the Thunder could uh, potentially put this as two all. So the North Stars have got to keep their foot down. There's no doubt about that. Face off to the right of Davis. Hazelhurst comes back to retrieve the puck. It was a lot of fun having him in the squad last year. I don't know if they prepared a cheese platter for him, but um, uh, he uh, it was definitely a lot of fun to have and kept the, the team um, spirits up when it went up 
it was kind of an up and down season last year, but so far, so good this year. <laughs> well, he's a great player and person. I spent a lot of time with him last year because his uh, girlfriend was playing in one of the local teams here, so which yep. I was coaching. And uh, he would spend a lot of his time out in the ice, uh, out on the bench, sorry, helping us with that. But he's also such a fun guy. We spent a lot of time with his mum, Laurie, when we were overseas. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's obviously very proud of him, so mm. she should be. But, I mean, uh, she was just saying that all he wanted to do when he was about three years old is play ice hockey. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah. He didn't want to do anything else. And that's what it takes. You, you see guys right. like Nathan Walker, mm -hmm. uh, they had that same drive. Correct. Yeah, Michael absolutely. Blackwell is another guy we talked about tonight. They had that same drive. Just absolutely. had to play hockey. Had to play loved hockey. It, loved it, loved it, loved yeah. it. And, uh, really, I think uh, that has helped the Thunder come back into this game because mm. really it was Rob Hazelhurst rush up the ice that set their, their goal up put the pressure on the North Stars and they weren't able to, to handle that and a uh, great shot and bang it only takes one shot you know, it does. all of a sudden bingo it was a one. great shot it was beautiful pass dude. It so uh, report card for this first period so how do you see the uh, game for the Thunder first oh look up for the thunder. What Sorry. would you do if you what what if you're for the coach Steve for the thunder? What are you yeah. going to do right now? Well, they definitely have to tighten up in the defensive zone. There's no doubt about that. The North Stars are controlling it. Their cycle game is allowing them to keep possession. Uh, when they're getting pucks to the net, they're getting there first. The Thunder aren't, and you can't do that to your goaltender. You've got to be there first in your own zone. So that's the first thing. They really have to tighten up on that. Other thing too, I can see that the North Stars, they get a lot of guys forward, so if you can transition quickly, you've got to put pressure on the defense. So they've got to get out of their own zone quickly. It's an aggressive you're attack, isn't correct. it? Correct. It is. It is. But the only way you're going to get out of your zone quickly is if you have the puck. Yeah. So you've got to improve your defensive game to be able to do that. Other than that, I mean, hey, I wouldn't be unhappy to be down 2-1 in this game. I'd be quite happy with that, you know. Just the little tweaks that have to happen. Well, since the timeout was called, yeah, Thunder up 1-0 since that time, so it's working for them. They've definitely improved since that point. Absolutely. And how about for the North Stars? What's Coach JFK? In it? Yeah, keep your foot down, you know? I mean, uh, they came out a 1,000 miles an hour. Playing that uh, first line uh, of uh, with Naden out there in Southwood, that was great. Uh, a great idea because, I mean, they put so much pressure on the Thunder right from the word go, and it took Thunder forever to come back. Two goals down. Let's call the timeout. Let's try and work... But then they sort of took their foot off a little bit, you know. Yeah. Uh, they played well, they played very well. And there certainly was a lot of opportunities around the net, but they didn't seem to have the same urgency in that last sort of five to eight minutes that they had in the first. So the first part of the period. So that's what I'd be saying. Look, we still got to win this game. You know, I know we've got two easy ones, but we still have to win this game. So uh, they really need to keep their foot down and make sure stuff happens. All right, then. So we've got uh, ice clean happening right now. We'll uh, go for a break soon and uh, we'll be back in around about uh, well, 12, 13 minutes for the second period. Oh, we're still going. Um, so, uh, goaltenders. Nico Vixton, if our first look at him, what do you think? Look, he lets a lot of rebounds. And that's why... That's there why was the, a lot of rebounds. That's why the Thunder have got to be way better in the defensive zone. Uh, because uh, he is going to be letting the puck out. And so they've got to be there to clear it first. So that, that's why one of the reasons they've got to work really, really hard in their own in the zone. I mean, he's looked pretty square, but he's allowing the puck to hit him and come off. He's not yeah. trying to, to uh, be soft when the shot's coming to him. Which is know. kind of what happened with the goal that Liam Wood Waring yeah. scored. <laughs> exactly. Went off his gear and out. Correct. Bang, there it was. Uh, I mean, Davis is great, but I don't think, to be honest, he's been challenged much, you mm. know. Uh, yeah. There's been a lot of shots at the net. There haven't been a lot of shots on the net, which is the difference. Now, again, that could be the North Star defensive game, keeping them wide and putting them under pressure, which they've been doing. They've been taking away the time and space that the Thunder forwards have had coming into the zone. So that means you're not going to get quality shots. And I'm sure Davis is quite happy if he doesn't have to stop shots all night long, you know. Um, but uh, uh, certainly, uh, that, that's the main thing I can see for the Thunder. They've got to get shots on that. Yeah, well, he had his pre-game nap, pre nap did uh, Dane Davis, so he should be pretty well rested. He yeah. <laughs> well, he looks good. He looks really, really good out there, you know. Yeah. Um, and, like, he's, he's a great goal. He's no doubt. He's a great goal. Uh, yeah, the shutout last a... week, I mean, that, that, it's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. I think he's uh, a guy that doesn't get enough credit um, uh, for what he does and how he does it. Uh, right. so people very quickly forget that um, uh, he, he won three championships in a row. Correct. Um, and, and the other thing is that uh, I think too many people read into the stats, the goalie stats of goals against and same percentages. Those are not pure goalie stats. Yeah. They're defence stats. Yes, correct. Because, and even and defence includes your forwards too. So if you're always being left hung out to dry with your defence not back checking, 
Yeah, your shot percentage, save percentages, and your goal against is going to be worse. Yes. If your defense aren't picking up the rebounds, your goal against is going to be worse. Yes, correct. Exactly so right. that, that all counts. It, it all comes into it. So I think um, uh, when we Newcastle, it's a small city compared to the others. We don't often have the depth that the players do, so how the teams do. So. Uh, so just uh, there are going to be times where someone like Dane Davis is going to have more work yep. and uh, we saw that a bit last year and maybe and the year before too so yep. um, I think those kind of hidden stats a bit the last year was not the year before uh, I think he's not getting enough credit for what he does and what? does really well I'm look at those talking to a lot of the guys on the team I mean they really rely on Dane to do that big save that all of a sudden puts him back into the game or you know there's something is, is good like that and he talks to them he lets them know what's going on so uh, it, it's exciting watching him play alright well we're going to cross over now Ellie has the, ke- the uh, coach from the North Stars John Kennedy Jr ready to go so we'll cross over to them and uh, we'll catch you for the second period soon North Stars 2 and the Perth Thunder are 1 as coach John F. Kennedy John, you came out really strong in that first period. You were leading 2-0 within minutes. It was 11 minutes uh, to go, so within the four, first four minutes. They did uh, t- chip away a little bit. It's now a 2-1 game. Are you happy with how things are progressing so far? Oh, yeah, I'm happy how the guys came out. We came ready and prepared to play. Um, obviously, they got that goal, and uh, we expect that from their end fourth line. Um, they can put together some good shots, so we take away time and space and don't allow them uh, great A scoring opportunities, we do a lot better in the second. Was coming out strong like that important to you? Uh, look, after last weekend it was, and look, we have the personnel to be able to do that. So it shows that we're ready to play, and I'd rather start on the right foot than play uh, catch up. Absolutely. And uh, anything you'll be looking to change up or do in the second period? Uh, look. Like I said, we have to mark that import line. We have to know when they're on the ice. Outside of that, we uh, keep exposing them with our speed and execution through the neutral zone and uh, keep going from there. And Jaden went into the boards pretty hard there uh, towards the end. Is he all right? Uh, look, he's looking all right. I think uh, could be some sore muscles, but overall, he's good. Oh, that's good to hear. Thank you so much, John. We'll let you do it. Thanks, everyone.
Welcome back, everyone, to the Hanoi Skating Stadium. The Newcastle North Stars are hosts uh, leading the Perth Thunder 2-1 after that first period of AHL hockey. Welcome back, Steve. Oh, look, fantastic period. That was just, it just got the blood going. It was just wonderful with the enthusiasm that was shown by both teams. But I'm hoping the North Stars start with that enthusiasm right this second, right now, from when that puck getting dropped. They want the next goal. Joe Ma has a puck. He's about to drop the puck. And off we go. Newcastle getting possession off the face-off. Ferrari sends it back. And Schmark will move it up to the right wing. It's knocked in there by Pat Nand. It's off the line here and out of play. So we've got to stop a play here at the dot. Our linesman, Nick Air, they're trying to do everything he could to get out of the road of that, but it's just too good a shot, eh? Just too good a shot. Yeah. Well, maybe he knows him. Maybe he's trying to hit him. <laughs> Face off. One by the North Stars. They'll carry it. Schmuck moves across the red line and dumps it in. It goes around the board. And, oh, stop a play. He must have taken a funny bounce off the, uh, off the top of the board. There. Must have been off here and bounced over the stanchions. We do have glass at either end here at Hunter Skating Stadium and down the northern end. Southern end is where we have the player benches and our cameras. And we've got a face off outside Davis's, uh, pardon me, at the moment it's not, it's Vixton's zone. A nice face off win. Right now, North Stars trying to keep it in down deep. Oh, Jack Schultz, Schultz is on yeah, the ice. He's got his debut. Backing up his Lindsay. Shot on net, saved by Davis. He'll freeze the puck as Webster came in to pressure, so there's no penalty called on and that one. Again, that to me is the main difference between the North Stars defensive play and the Thunder's defensive play. The North Stars were first to that puck on Davis and protecting him from it, whereas the Thunder haven't been. Now we had an important milestone in that period. We weren't sure if it was Semi Benga or if it was Rob Malloy who got the credit for the goal. It turned out it was Robert Malloy, Bert Malloy, the captain, and that was his 200th goal in the NHL. So well done to. Point. point. 200 point. Yeah. 200 point. I thought goals was a lot for. for no, that's Patrick. a lot of goals, Pete. 200, that. 200 points is fantastic. 200 points is pretty good. Shot by Benga is wide. Alistair Pundler picks it up. Pressure on the, in the purse end, and Whoops. North Stars playing well again, but we've got some numbers here for the Thunder. They're coming into the zone. Shot on it, saved by Davis off the shoulder. Covers up, and a stopper play as Villeur was coming in pretty quickly there, the big, big Kev. Yeah, Sammy Banger was uh, shaking his head then. I mean, he had a pretty good opportunity in front of the Thunder goal there, and it missed by probably about half a metre, the net, and uh, he probably would want that back again, and unfortunately was caught up the ice that led to that two-on-one. Face off to the left of Davis in North Star zone. Newcastle trying to win. It's almost uh, stolen away there by Ruck for the Thunder. But Newcastle get it back. Tripped into the boards there by Naden. Ferrari waits, gets it off the board and passes Naden into neutral ice. Back it goes. Getting one to there was Jake Ruck. Ruck thrown. Deep into the Thunder end for an icing call with 13.33 left in the second period. It's a still a 2-1 lead for the North Stars. Been a little bit disjointed this uh, first minute and a half for the North Stars. There's been a couple of little mistakes that have been have been creeping into the game that uh, I'm sure that Coach Kennedy would want them to get rid of very, very quickly. I can't away. Newcastle with possession. Lehman Waring will bank it off the glass. Ooh, pretty close to that the top of the glass close. too. <laughs> close to a penalty. But that was a, a pleasant playing sound for Liam and Waring. Maiden scoot, skates onto it with some speed. He'll go up the left wing into the zone. He goes, comes across ice, looking for, takes a shot, and a save. Then the side there by Vixton. Newcastle trying to get out in front and battling, but Thunder moving it out nicely with a couple of quick passes, and it goes to Ferrari in his end. He'll send it up the right wing, and into the zone goes Dominic Goodbye go deep, pick up the puck, backhand, picked up by Hazelhurst, and chipped down ice, Newca uh, Newcastle got some pressure on here, Thunder have some numbers, shot is high, and into the glass, picked up there by Velo. Hamish Powell was very small next to that man, <laughs> Hamish Powell's not a small man, he's a big guy, with some speed, 
Lovely goodbye into the zone, goes up the middle, goes wide now, takes a quick shot and Vixton with a save with 12.21 left. And he needed second. to be good on that because that was a wonderful play. A couple of great examples there of hand speed and great hand-eye coordination there too. And wheels. Just incredible. That's the kind of enthusiasm that the North Stars need out on the ice at the moment so they can build this up. They, as I said, they will really want this third goal. They really want this next one. To the blue line. Shot through the screen, the save by Vixton. The rebound goes wide, but behind the net. Picked up by Thunder into the neutral zone they come. And into the North Star zone. They'll chip it out, though, and it's in neutral ice. Anger carries it forward. Goes to the right wing, Jaden Ryan. Tries to get it back on the scorers coming in. And Thunder pinned the puck behind the net. Under 12 minutes remaining in the second now. Shot out wide from Lindsay and a save by Vixen through the screen. Andre Smart giving directions. Puck is dumped in. Shot on net from the rebound and picked up there by Schmuck. Up the left wing. Into the zone they go. Dolay will hand that puck off. Quick snapshot by Spanger and it goes into the corner. Oh, Ram nice. drives the net from behind and stopped by Vixton and he goes to go to the other post now. Newcastle on the attack. With some speed into the zone. Nice move yeah. in front. Saved by Davis. No rebound oh. scores. Valor comes and gets the rebound. Davis had the first one. He did get he did get some uh, player cut run into him there, but it was part of the play, so I'm not surprised that was allowed. North Stars got caught big time then. Pat Naden, who was a very, very good forward, had to end up playing the one-on-one -on -one against Rob Hazelhurst, and Hazelhurst is a fantastic player. Forget that he's a defenseman. His speed as a player coming out of his own zone is phenomenal, and Naden was just caught standing there like a pylon as he went straight through him. That's no disrespect to Pat Naden at all. I mean, he's not a defenseman, he's a forward. So we're just checking for interference here. If uh, Davis, he did, definitely was collided with, but we're not, I'm not sure about the rulings on whether this could be, or was the net off. I don't know. Looks no goal. Like so they're saying it was uh, a hook. Did I see a hook? Signal there? Yeah, I certainly saw it. So, referee Joe Mars conferred with the linesman, and it looks like it, what, it was, uh, the, looks like they're saying that it was a hook being called. So the door is open for one of the Thunders to sit. I'll tell you, the North Stars are certainly are very, very, very lucky yeah. with that one. Yeah, I, um, I don't know, we don't know what the full story up here. But yeah. uh, it's actually it's one of the North Stars going yeah, Paddy to Ward's Paddy Ward's up. gone to the two bank. minutes for hooking. To two minutes. I don't know, I'm a so the, what so what's that it was a misallowed but North Stars got a penalty. In front, another Oops. chance for the Thunder. Davis has got his work cut out for him as they're currently killing this penalty. There was a chance for the Thunder to get one anyway. Velo. Off the stick of Malloy. And he's quickly on the case there, chasing down Louis McCutt. McCutt will fake and goes close to the net. He Oops. reverses, but his player is no longer <laughs> there. And that was Velo. Chance Newcastle Burt Malloy. No, he's going to double back, play it safe, because they are killing a penalty at the moment. Back it goes to Goodbye. Waste, happy to waste some time. Long pass. Not cleanly Got picked through. up there by McCutt. Quick shot on net. No, fakes. Tries the stuff instead. Newcastle killing penalty nicely at the moment. They're getting scoring chances instead. Thunder now into the zone. Getting set up. Oh, nice tap on net there by Webster. Davis, though. It's uh, under control and it's knocked down ice there by Dominic Goodbye. Vixton will scoop it away from Goodbye and it goes back to Andre Schmach from Newcastle. Off a of player skating into the penalty bench for a stop of play with 9.47 left in the second. Now I'm very interested to see how we will get the call during the period break as to why the goal was uh, disallowed there being a penalty being called against the Newcastle North Stars. So I'm not 100% certain how that all played out. But it'll be interesting to see what the call is. 
Although it became two different things, I think. Well, Bango's got the park, watch out. Backhand. Oh, we've got a penalty coming saved here. by Vixen, but he's drawn a penalty. He didn't get the goal. He did pull a penalty. Schmuck with the puck right now. He's got some help by, out now by Pat Naden. Gets rewarded with a power play shift while they're uh, playing the advantage through the screen by Drolle and it's turned aside by Thunder. Newcastle still in possession. Players in front calling for it is Naden. He gets the puck. Stopped by Vixen and Naden gets a couple of extra pushes. There's Thunder a bit frustrated at the moment and Pat Naden won't care. <laughs> that was a lovely play by Sammy Banger to try and get the puck in front of the net and cause that little melee because of the pressure that was put on this so it was, it was a great little play by him Sammy Benger's just smiling away <laughs> he's uh, enjoying himself oh, he's having a great time that certainly takes away the advantage that the Perth Thunder had uh, they only had 14 seconds more of it but uh, now we'll play four on four and then the North Stars will obviously go on to the power play yeah we'll talk to um, uh, the stripes in the break we'll find out more about the disallowed goal but as I was saying I think it's really two separate things mm. that they were discussing the penalty and the non-allowed goal so um, we'll find out a bit more anyway and find out what happened and what the ruling was rather than just trying to speculate as enjoyable as that might be Steve <laughs> <laughs> Lost does with the park it's four and four at the moment at least for the next eight seconds through the screen no Bert Molo waits he gets it away to one of his players Circling around is Andre Smart with some beautiful footwork. Chance Ooh. at the back door. Fakes a bit. Couldn't get 201 there, Bert Malloy, but <laughs> uh, you'll have to do a 200 so far anyway. 140 left in this penalty kill for the Thunder. Good positioning there from Bert Malloy. That's his experience coming through showing that. He was on his off wing and set himself up perfectly for the one-timer and just didn't quite get it in the wheelhouse, unfortunately. Marty Moose on the big screen now. Our uh, wonderful mascot, pumping up the crowd, greeting everyone when they come in. Chance for Newcastle behind the net. Now Drolle in front, looking for the short stuff from the man in the office there. It oh. close, turned aside by Vixton and a beauty save. Yeah, everyone's got their hands up in the air because they saw the puck still being loose, but our referee did not, so therefore the whistle was blown down straight away. And also the net was off as well too. That'll do it. 8.42 left in the second period, still 2-1. No goals this period, but it's been a bit of a lot of fun, Steve. Oh, absolutely. It didn't quite start as well as maybe the North Stars wanted it to be, a little bit disjointed, but now they've settled down a little bit more. They have a power play opportunity now for the next minute and 15 seconds. Can't keep it in the zone just there, so doubling back is Bermaloy. It's it away to Schmuck. What I like about Schmuck is he wants the puck. He wants you to give it to him. Yeah, well... Better to give it to. Raleigh. <laughs> Down to goodbye. Looking in front. Close the back door. And under keep it on the outside to the top of the circle. Raleigh fakes. Sends it down low. And the stop a play. Is it net off again? Yep. Yes. 8 0 8 left in the second period. 2 1 the lead. So I did see one other score. I did see the Brave were up 1 0 against. Uh, the um, was it today? The Sydney Bears. Yeah, the Brave. I think are going to have another great season this yeah, year. Yeah, they're looking very good. Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic game when they play the North Stars. June, I think it is. June twenty second. They play the Yeah, yeah it's such a long wait till we get to play the Braves. Yeah, it really tests how we are against you know, such a good team. That's off the boards. He gets round Tesserick down low right now. North Stars. But once again, they've got so much possession in in the Thunder end. That's a problem for the Thunder. Davis goes down to retrieve that. He's got Matt Lindsay chatting away with Shane Southwood. They're that's what you want. You want your organised breakouts happening. Richie Tesserick through a crowd. It's through a couple of players somehow. Puck is loose. Davis will stop it and he doesn't freeze it. So the rules have changed regarding that. You can't really freeze it unless there's a player really close. So Correct. Mark Cott was coming in pretty much. <laughs> he backed off a bit to make him play it, I think. Quick shot on there and turned aside there by Vixen. I'll get it consistently at some stage. Vixen. And that's into the netting. It was judged as deflected, not uh, de not off the stick cleanly, so there's no penalty to Rob Hazelhurst. Yeah, the Thunder will be taking a deep breath. I mean, they've certainly dodged a bullet there by 
not allowing the North Stars to use their power play effectively and get that third elusive third goal that they're trying to, to put in the net at the moment. Uh, certainly that net being knocked off a lot is would be causing concern. To the point. Walking the blue line is Schmuck. He'll unload that puck. In close. Through the other side it goes. And Dave Ferrari gets over to keep it in, in the zone. Keep it alive. It's not a power play. Though it's kind of looking a bit like it at the moment. Rolet. Pushed up against the boards. He wins that through a crowd. Gets a puck. No, he gets a puck back in the corner again. It goes past goodbye. And to Tesserick working with them. Into the corner again. Battle for the puck, still in the thunder end. It's no power play or penalty, it's equal teams here. Not in the zone now as Schmuck goes back to pick it up. Does a nice move to yes. shake off <laughs> McMahon. That sublime skating skill of these really top level players is great to watch. Tesserick unloads a backhand as he takes a hit. Experience there in his game. Ferrari through the screen and a save by Vixton. Yeah, good Six, shot. 15 left in the second. Good shot there by Dave Ferrari. That's really what you wanted it to be. Roughly 300 mil off the ice, so you never really know where it's going to go. Maybe uh, you get a few people in front of the net, bounces off something, anything can happen. But again, it puts pressure on the Thunder. Gets another offensive face-off for the North Stars. We seem to have been down the Thunder's end a lot that, uh, these last <laughs> few minutes here. We certainly have recently. Mm. Yeah, ever since they got penalised, actually. Newcastle trying to keep in the zone. Thunder out now. Here we go. Up I say come. Through the legs of Lindsay. Takes a shot. Scores! Oh, nice play. Jamie Woodman. Jamie Woodman. Just a, a sweet little dipsy pass and Woodman skated onto it and got it past Davis. You couldn't play a two-on-two -two any better than that. That was just wonderful. The one-on-one -on, -one on Lindsay absorbed the play, just fed it behind Lindsay with Woodman coming through. The other defense wasn't able to pick it up because of the speed and Woodman just got a great through shot away. Through the legs, yeah. Marcotte with clever. the assist, so sublime pass through the legs of, uh, of Lindsay and separate the man and they've evened up here so after being 2-0 down it's now 2 all with 6-0-2 left in the second period. North Stars with the puck. Yeah, all credit to the Thunder for the pressure they've been putting on to actually get that goal. Really it's up to North Stars now to use their speed so they can get back into this. Yeah they've got to do something with uh, the time they spend in the Thunder end. Foot race on for the puck and play will stop. Look air blowing it down. And it's good to see the speed that Burton Malloy has to be able to get there because uh, young Jake Ruck is a quick player. I don't mind telling you, he's fast. And his dad, who coaches the, uh, the Perth Thunder, yes. is uh, very proud of him, and so he should be. Face off to the left of Vixton. Newcastle are going to win that, but the Thunder get it back. And around the boards it goes, and that won't be icing. Is it's getting onto it right now. Is Where is it? What do we got? We've got a penalty, a penalty called. Up. Pat Naden. Pat Naden goes into the box. I didn't see the signal, but uh, he's got two minutes on the board. We had 5 3 so there's another chance for the Thunder, a chance to get ahead after being 2 0 down. Jeez, it's funny, Pete, how momentum swings happen, ah. eh? You know, the North Stars 2 1, all the time was in the Thunder end. All of a sudden, power play, boom, now, oh, oh. Let's see what happens here. Face off. Loose. Thunder in to pick it up. Schmuck gets in there with the body. Bro gets it up to the point. Thunder walking the blue line now. Take to the top of the circle. They have a screen going with Webster in front. Back and forth it goes. Hello. Through the screen. Oh, glove by Davis with a flashing save. glove. And, and Sammy uh, Banger looks back and gives a nod to Dane Davis. because clock Banger, is still running. Banger was... Uh, clock is still running. Clock is still running. <laughs> that could be a problem. It's been running for about 10, yeah. uh, about 10 seconds now. Oh, I don't think the North Stars will be complaining. No. Yeah, we lost about 20 seconds there. Eh? Uh, I was a bit over 10, about 12 I think I saw. Mixed in with the puck. Bang out for checking. He will wait with it to get some help and he'll unload it. I think it's Marcos with the puck. Into the zone. Thunder carry it in. Marcos. Chipped off his stick there. Drelay has a stick knocked out of his hands. Or oh, <laughs> skated over by my So they've got an extra man at the moment. Ward. He's down on it. Ooh. It's loose. Drelay wasn't happy because he had his puck 
his stick taken away from him in the gear of, uh, of Louis Macotte. Yeah, that last play before, I mean, here was Sammy Bang, probably one of our most offensive players on the team, trying to block shots in front of the net for Dane Davis. And that's where they gave each other a little nod. Yeah, it was uh, pretty brave of him. Bruce Mach gets the puck, separates the man from the puck and goes to Gabay, who's happy to pick it up. Rob Hazelhurst can't contain that puck, so Vixton will hold it behind his net. Back and forth it goes. And turning it forward now is Cooper. Oh, great steal. Still by Newcastle. Goodbye. Get some space through the screen. Shot on Ned. Saved by Vixton. Test right now in deep to try and get the puck. Bye. Hey, after Vixton's first couple of minutes, he has been superb back there. He's controlled his rebounds. He's looked a lot better. Shot on Ned and a save by Davis with a glove. Stop a play. 3.22 left in the second. We're two all. And there's a swagger in the Perth Thunder. There's no doubt about that. They've come back well to get uh, to all. And just again, that was Jamie Woodman, a defenseman down there putting pressure on Dane Davis with the shot. So uh, they've certainly got their swagger back. Now it's up to the North Stars now just to get a little bit of momentum back. Face off to the right of Davis. 3.22 remaining. Mark to the puck first. Long pass, oh. hits a stick though, Naden, and dribbles into Vixton. He'll send it out of the zone. Picked up by Paddy Ward. Newcastle can't get it into the attacking zone. We're about to now. He's been wearing spins and gets it in deep. And the puck is pursued by Shane Southwood. Been wearing now. Pressure on Ailster Pumla. Chance for Newcastle. But bam! Man separated from Puck. In front, and out the other side it goes. Shot on it. Deflection chance loose. Saved by Davis. One, two. Man pinned. Still loose. It's still Bro. loose. Little battling for it. <laughs> and uh, Naden and Naden been wearing happy to upset Villeur, but um, nobody got too serious there. I think if you put them on each other's shoulders, they still wouldn't be as tall as he is. <laughs> Holy yeah. dooly. They're two tall guys, too. Again, cr cr all, cr all credit to the Thunder for turning this period around and putting all the pressure on the North Stars. Uh, Dave Rock with some genius moves there, calling their timeout because his team has been a lot better since then. Uh -oh. Chance for the Thunder. Block it away there by Davis. It goes around the boards. Picked up there by Webster. Gets it to the blue line. Round it goes back the other way. Malloy is knocked off the puck there by Jake Rupp. Loose, Jane Ryan pursues. And back it goes. Thunder bring it into the zone. Quick shot off Lindsay. Loose. Newcastle pick it up. That's Banger with some speed. He waits up. He's got Jane Ryan with him. Whoops. He tries to go to Trelay instead. It's picked off by the Thunder. They're coming back the other way with some speed into the zone. Lindsay. Pushes it away. Banger picks it up. He's got Ryan with him. Ryan will go to the right wing. You'll be looking inside for Drolet coming in late. Banger's with him instead. Thunder. Retrieve the puck and hand it off. They're going to go up the left wing. Pinched by Banger. Ben Malloy spins and throws it in as he's across the red line. Into the final minute and a half. Off the boards that goes Andres Mark. With the move. It's a pass way to goodbye. He's got some space going down the middle though. Yep. And knocked out and is loose and a chance for the Thunder. In they come. Velo shoots. Scores! Beats Davis with a nice shot. Oh, the North Stars got caught on that change. It was a defensive change. And unfortunately, at the wrong time, the Thunder had the puck, took control and brought it back up the ice. And believe you do not want to give him the puck in a situation like that. I was really interested to see how he would go because he was mostly... Uh, uh, Okay, uh, uh, energy guy, I guess you would call it. <laughs> Mostly he was uh, taking penalties or a bit of a policeman. Um, 
putting on hits, maybe penalty kill, but he's got skills as well. Right. And you can't expect any guy who makes AHL is going to have skill. Correct. He's a goal-scoring guy tonight, I'll tell he you. Is. He is. really looked Well, he dangerous. had a chance to get a bit biffy in front of the net there before, and he pulled out, and because and, I think he saw he had more, he had a different job to do here. Yeah. And he's done it. And right away, he's gone and scored in that next couple of shifts. Well, it's game one on the road trip. I mean, you know, you really need to be ready for the next Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Goodbye. Hands that puck off. Pesarek, down low. Button hook, he gets it back. Good. Just tenacious with the puck, but Thunder push that away. Smart. That goes off a stick and back into the Thunder zone. We're into the final 35 seconds of the last, pardon me, the second period. Smart into the boards. He's got no help at the moment. He needs some support. Thesserick has the puck stolen. North Stars oh, are kind of not helping out each other very much at the moment. <coughs> Ferrari. To Smart. Touched by Naden. Goes back the other way. He's starting to get a hold of it. Ten seconds to go. Louis Macott in front. Loose. Paddled away there by Davis. Four seconds. Picked up there by Goodbye. He won't have time to do anything with this. And that's the second period, Steve. Big change we saw there. And we kind of reached a certain point there. We were talking about the possession that the Thunder had, uh, the North Stars had in the Thunder zone for so long. Mm. Thunder score, game change. Absolutely. And so that quickly. Point. So quick. The momentum One swing. Shift. And who started the change? Who started the change? Rob Hazelhurst. That's right, he did too. Yeah. I tell you, he's one of my favourite players. I mean, <laughs> I, he plays for the Thunder now, but uh, watching him uh, last year, watching him overseas, watching him play here tonight, I mean, he does so many good things, you know. Uh, You've got to love his enthusiasm. You've got to love his skill set. I mean, the North Stars lost that period 3-0. Uh, Three. No, there was one scored last period. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. It's bad enough. And they had a lot of possession. They did. So they couldn't score, and then they gave up bad defensive. Uh, that was a problem. So many opportunities, but not taking the opportunities. And that can then lead to frustration. That can then lead to things not going well. Over Trying too hard, holding mm -hmm. stick too tight. I mean, all sorts of little things like that. I mean, they're just going to get back to what they're doing in the first period. They were skating like bombs. They were going 100 mile an hour. Everything was looking really good. And uh, then that just seemed to change a little bit towards the end of the first period. And then it kind of carried over a bit into that second period. I mean, they started pretty well. The first couple of shifts were okay, but then they started to go into a bit of a shell. And yeah. a lot of things weren't working. Passes weren't clicking. Things weren't happening. The momentum swing started going towards the white guys, you know. And uh, they grabbed it. They did something with it. It was good for them. It was great for them. We saw a lot of... Um Thunder intercepting passes there, in the, especially in the second half of the second yep. period. Do you think that's a change that Dave Cooler's made, or is it something the North Stars are not doing? They didn't seem to be supporting each other very well. Oh, look, definitely. In the first period, especially in the neutral zone, the Thunder were very, very narrow. Towards the uh, second period, and whether they meant to or not, they were a lot wider. So now you don't have as much opportunity, so therefore pucks are going to go on other sticks and things. So you're forcing plays. You're trying to make things happen. Uh, some of the, the plays were just, you could just sit there, you know, we didn't need to do that. We didn't need to put ourselves under pressure by doing that. And uh, those sort of things will unfortunately lead to turnovers, which will then lead to opportunities the other way, which then can lead to goals. So uh, just it's just getting back to what they did so well in the first period. Hold the puck, hold possession, have the cycle going, game going, because, geez, they did that well in that first period. Yeah, they did. They held possession, held possession, and got opportunities from that. So those little things just went away a little bit in that second period. And as I said, Perth said thank you very much, took mm. the opportunities, bing, there's two goals. That's it. So we had the Thunder really did well in executing on those. And often on the rush, though. Yep. But they did it. And that's often the way you get an opportunity when you're down like that. And it's on the rush, but you score. Yep. And that just lifts your team, and then you've got confidence to do it again. Well, we talked about at the end of the first how the Thunder have to gain possession in their own zone, mm -hmm. then turn that through the neutral zone by quick, uh, quick transition, Chris, yeah. and then you're going to put pressure on the North Stars. Yeah, that's what happened. Amazing. You're a good coach. No, I don't know about that, mate. Just <laughs> relax on that. But I'm just saying, to me, that's that doesn't matter what team you're talking about. If you can gain possession, if you can turn your transition over quickly, you're going to get opportunity. In the end, it's up to you as to what opportunity, what you make of the opportunity. But they did that really, really well. And good luck. That's great. I mean, that second, that last goal they just scored then was a wonderfully crafted play of play how to play a two-on-two. Two. Mm. Just take the player, put it through his legs, have the other guy coming through at an angle and take the shot. It was it was a great play. It was it a was. wonderful play yeah. by some really skilled players. And certainly, the Thunder have skilled players. North Stars have some very skilled players. Yeah. And uh, we just need to start putting more pucks on net, I think. We're seeing defence make a, 
make the big difference for the Thunder. Though. Oh, yes. uh, we saw that the architects of the goals, all three, were the defence. Yes. Rob Hazelhurst with two. Um, Louis McCart with the other one. Yep. I think Rob Hazelhurst might have had a hand in that as well. So Jamie Woodman's been pushing and up. Jamie Woodman making it. things happen. <laughs> That's right. He's been making things happen. So yeah. a lot of a lot of stuff is coming from the defence. And if you've got it, why wouldn't you use it? So that's again, it's it's well crafted by the Thunder. Uh, the North Stars can certainly beat that because at some stage the Thunder are going to be exhausted with their defence if they're forever being used in the play. So if the North Stars can again turn that transition around, put pressure on the uh, Thunder defence quickly, then with a 20 minute period, that's a long 20 minutes. Uh, Alright, we'll see what they can do here. Hmm. Uh, goalies, as you mentioned, Nico Vixton looked really good in that period. He uh, did, he, he settled down. smothering pucks pretty yep. well. I think maybe that uh, timeout that Dave Ruck called, okay, usually it's for the team, could have been very well for the goalie as well yeah. too because he's settled down way better after that than what he was at the beginning of the period. Uh, so, again, kudos to Dave Ruck. Well done. They can't really pick... Uh, can't really, well, they could pull, uh, pull um, uh, Nick Vixton, but their backup is actually a Sydney goalie, yes. uh, Nick Windle, who played for us in 2002 mm-hmm. for the North Stars. He was one of our first goalies, along That's with right. Kevin uh, Kozak, uh, Ken Kozak and uh, Chris Kelly. So... Um, yeah, I haven't seen Nick around here for a long time. He did play some backup for the Bears a couple of times as well. He's just one of those Sydney goalies that's always there. So, uh, yeah, he's looking for an AHL experience. Yeah. So we'll go to... So we've got... Uh, apparently we've got, ne- we've got Pat Naden and uh, Ellie. So we'll uh, sign off now until the third period. So we'll cross over to Ellie now, and she's got Patty for you right now. See you then. Hi, everyone. Ellie down on the North Stars bench. I'm joined by North Star Pat Naden. How are you going, Pat? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. That's good. So the uh, Perth Thunder came back two goals in that period, and it's now a 3-2 game to Perth Thunder after the second. Uh, Pat, run us through what happened in that second period there where Perth was able to sort of get those two goals and uh, take charge. I think it was just a couple mental errors on our half, um, and I think that's all it was. We outplayed on that period. I think 80% of the players down in our zone, we've just got to capitalise on it. Uh, their goalie's standing tall. We've just got to keep crashing the net and capitalise on our chances, I think. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, there was a, there's been a lot happening around the net, both nets. Uh, yeah, like where we're getting to the point where it's a mad scramble, obviously want to get the, get the goal in, but yeah, there's like, it's being waved off. Um, what do we do to sort of circumvent that? Oh, we just got to get to those loose pucks, I think. Um, they're there, we just got to find them, and um, that's how we're going to score goals. It's not going to be pretty, it's going to be an ugly one. So. so what will you be working on for the third period? I think keep doing what we're doing. I think we're playing really well. We're just, like I said, we're going to capitalise on our... Uh, opportunities a bit more and that's it I think we're playing really well so beautiful thanks so much Pat we'll leave you to it thanks everyone
Welcome back, everyone, to Hunter Ice Gaining Stadium. We've had two pe periods, two very, very different periods, Steve. Um, right now, the Perth Thunder have come back from 2 0 down in that first period. They're now up 3 to 2 after 2. You couldn't get a better comeback from the Perth Thunder, in all seriousness. Uh, led by the defense. The mm -hmm. defense were very strong and they're getting involved in all their offensive plays, really. Whereas the uh, Newcastle North Stars did tend to just take the seem to just take their foot off the pedal a little bit and didn't quite have the same enthusiasm and uh, uh, the same sort of drive that they had in the first period, uh, certainly for the first five minutes of the first period when they were just on top and they were just so good. Um, but then has certainly come huge for the Thunder. He's playing really, really well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just really now a matter of the North Stars scoring goals. I know it sounds dumb, but it's just about them <laughs> scoring goals. Well, that possession game worked really well for them early on. <coughs> we talked about was the change due to things that the Thunder did or the things that the North Stars stopped doing? Well, look, it's always a bit, a bit of, of both, both, in all seriousness, you know. Yeah. Uh, it would be lovely if you, I mean, I probably wouldn't be doing this. I'd be a multi-multi-millionaire if I could put my finger on every single thing that happens, and we just can't do that. Uh, it's, it is a bit of a very... Because it's a team sport. I mean, there's little things that happen in a team sport that influence what's going on out in the ice. And uh, the fact that the Thunder have turned around where they were because of the... I think because of the uh, timeout that Dave Ruck called, uh, it's really up to the North Stars to bounce back and respond to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the guys are just getting on the ice right now. We're about to get away. We've got a 20-minute period. We could um, uh, with the new overtime rules. So it's even possible that we could have uh, overtime tonight. We'll see what happens. I don't know if my heart's ready for that sort of pressure. <laughs> It'll be so exciting. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> it's three on three, which is pretty good. Yeah. Well, that's that's going to be crazy. So. Uh, all right, so Joe May's got the puck. Oh, we did find out about that uh, disallowed goal. We'll fill you in about that when we get a stop of play. But for now, we'll resume for this third period. Thunder up 3-2. to two. Hazelhurst gets the puck after the face-off was won by the Thunder. That was Mark Cox playing center. He quickly gets the puck back and takes the shot on net, and it's off the post and out. In the corner now, battle for the puck. Newcastle trying to break it out of their zone. Hamish Powell tries the backhand. He gets it away. Goodbye into center ice. Takes a quick shot through the screen. It's off a stick and into the corner. Hazelhurst will pursue. Goodbye is on his own. Here comes Hamish Powell to help out, but too late. The puck is pushed down ice. There's a foot race on between McCutt and Malloy. McCutt wins and directs it towards net, but not much time to do much with it. And now up the right wing goes Hamish Powell into the zone. Boy from Valentine originally. And behind the net, power works. McMahon gets it away. And right now, it's Webster gets the puck to uh, oh, Jamie skill. Woodman. And yes, nice move with the uh, spinorama to dump it in. And Thunder are looking for a change as North Stars do a partial change too. First minute gone here in this third period. Thunder up 3-2. into the North Stars zone. So we'll see if the North Stars are able to recover the game that they had back in the first period or the Thunder keep them on the ropes here. Long pass and does make it to Benga. Moves in. Oh, Shoots nice goal. goal! What a goal! Sammy Benga with a sweet pass under the stick of Drolle who finished it. Holy moly, talk about vision. How good was that? Fantastic. Fantastic to see Drolet coming down that wing and just be able to get the puck across to him and poor old Viston had no idea what was going on. That was a wonderful goal. No really chance well to save that. That was right in perfectly timed. And look how Banger waits, waits, moves in, pass and finish. I mean, I think everyone in the building thought he was going to shoot it. So I think the pass caught everybody by surprise. But the reality of it is it's 3-all and boy, that is what the North Stars wanted. Yeah, that changes the game. It's 3 all now with 18-20 left in the, the game. And Bert Malloy goes back to get that puck. He'll carry it forward. And loses it, so he goes and retrieves. Pressure there from Villeur. Big Kev, which he quickly became known as by Australian fans. Mm, he's a huge man. A couple of players down. They're okay, I believe. Just uh, skates out from under him. Shot on net and it's off a skate and rebounded back into Bro. He's a bit ginger getting back up. And he skates towards the bench right away. He did take a, a knock last weekend too. And we'll see if he's okay. Chance in front, goodbye. Loose 
bumped off the puck hard by Rob Hazelhurst and a stop a play. Well, it's obvious that uh, Hamish Powell from the North Stars didn't appreciate that hit by Rob Hazelhurst, but it certainly looked plenty legit. There didn't seem to be any problem with it at all, and certainly our referee hasn't thought there was a problem with it either. Rob Hazelhurst isn't too upset by it either. No. <laughs> he was just waiting for it to end. Three all, 17, 35 left in the game. Dropped and found the winner, but it's a bit of a win win as quickly Southwood's involved, but Woodman gets the puck. And we're going to go up the right wing with the Thunder into the North Star zone. Summit Sack carrying the puck. He'll, it's Woodman now. He'll swing the stick at it and stopped by Nate. So right now the North Stars are breaking out and they're throwing it into the Thunder zone. Newcastle still at possession. They'll center that puck and Woodman. It's touched by Naden. Thunder now moving forward. The attempted shot or pass goes into the corner. Southwood will get it for Newcastle and they're going to try a break out. They'll take the left wing into the zone the Garmin wearing. Goes across, tries to hit the stick of Naden, but it was touched by the defender Kudler. Around the boards it goes. Chance for Newcastle. Shot and a save by Vixton as Drolle gets on for a shift. Yeah, good pressure again by the North Stars. That's why I love watching this line with Pat Naden and Southwood out there. I mean, they really have a lot of speed and they're putting a lot of pressure on the uh, Thunder as well too. Just watching the, the Thunder bench. Looks like Bro's gone to the dressing room. Uh, there's a couple of medical staff with him as well too. So That's bad news. Not good news. Face off, and Thunder knocked that back. Skating onto that is Lodge. And we've got two of the Lodge boys here with us today. That one was Lyndon Lodge. And Yannick. Yes, and Yannick is yellow. Lyndon Lodge with the puck again. Long pass, nice under the stick there of Villo. He will pass it up right wing. Jane Ryan getting mixed into it there. Gets the puck back, looking to pass. Waits as Villo goes for a change. Back to Ryan, goes up the middle. Waiting for some help. He's got Drelay coming on the net. That was goodbye, pardon me. That was Drelay. Had it right yep. first time. Dumped in by Newcastle into the corner as they change. That was Bert Malloy, the skipper. Hazel Hurst off the boards and into neutral ice. Richie Tesserick cuts off that pass. He'll take it into the Thunder Zone. He's looking inside. He fakes. And he's lost the handle, so he's got to deal with Hazel Hurst in the corner. Simeon Banger's there to help. He tries to get in front. Goodbye was coming in. Had to stretch, and Tom Sack knocked it away. Then the Lodge carries up the right wing. Getting some time on ice. And a long pass, picked up there by Webster. And Webster marches through the crowd. Saved by Davis, it's loose in front, but picked up by the North Stars D. That's what you want from your defense. Get those rebounds out of there when the goalie doesn't freeze it. Woodman backhands that away for Velour, who's coming on ice. And watch out, Rob Hazelhurst has got the puck. Driving in towards the net, gets it in close. Oh. Saved by Davis. Good glove saved by Davis. He knows Robbie's moves. Chance. Shot. Saved by Vixton. That was Hamish Powell with a shot. Again, huge rebound. The North Stars have got to get on those. Vixton's going to keep doing that, I believe, for the rest of this game. They've got to be there for the rebound. Woodman. Backhands that back to Marcotte into the Newcastle zone. Quick shot and paddle the way oh, there. Oh, get it up. We've got a cherry picker. Watch out. Richie Tesserick backhands that and a nice protecting of the puck there by Dave Kudler. Pat Naden tries to move it inside from Manwaring. They're working together here. Can't get, can't connect. This is good defense covering the puck here. Dave Kudler. Separated from the puck is McMahon. Newcastle still battling. This Aussie line is being pretty formidable, formidable at this period. They were in the first two. They're having a great game. There's no doubt about that. Puck dumped in there by McMahon. Just need to hold on to the puck a bit more. Just a bit more possession would help them a lot. 13.50 left in the game. It's still 3-all since that early North Stars goal. We've got a penalty Thunder coming up. Thunder player down off the North, off North Stars. Stars stick. So it's going to be Pat Naden. Pat Naden's going to get two minutes. 
Watch out, Rob. Hazelhurst has got the puck. He's got some speed. He drives the net. Puck is knocked off his stick, and that should see the penalty called. So we have the Thunder will have a two-minute power play, and it's currently 13.30 left in the game. Yeah, it's very, very important for the North Stars that they kill this. I mean, uh, they've scored a great goal to get it back to three all. So the momentum has started to swing a little bit towards the North Stars. And they have had great possession down in the zone. They haven't really, at this stage, troubled too much Beston so much this period. But certainly they've got to keep at it. Definitely. Kill this, put the pressure back on the Thunder. Face off. One by the Thunder. Fire it in towards their winger. But uh, gets through. And Newcastle on the yeah, counter. He's got him Held up that. by a bit. Yep. And he's pulled, he has drawn a penalty, Rick Tesserick, uh, from Ray Rob Rob Hazelhurst. So well, they're going to play the advantage at the moment, but Newcastle will equal out. There'll be four aside here as Thunder Touch. And Rob Hazelhurst. Yeah, definitely an interference. Easy call. one. Ben Bro's back on the ice too, so he's okay. Yeah, I was going to just say that. He looks like he's all right. But that was definitely an interference call there, but you could have almost given it a tripping call after the interference as well. <laughs> yeah, that's a double effort. Them, so. He was all in, Rob Hazelhurst. And he always is, isn't he? Eh? He's always that's, all that's in. That's how he works. Mm. Yeah. That's what you want from me, guys. All or nothing. Yeah, it must have been Brault's uh, wrist, I'd say. It's sort of been very gingerly moving it. Vlo will take the face off, probably for that same reason. He loses that. North Star's quick shot, but it's not accurate from Bangor. and goes wider than that. Not by far. Backhander and into the zone goes Schmuck. He'll instead take it back to the blue line. He's got some help. He's got looking for the screen. Oh shot in net, and it's saved by Vixton. And Banger got there a little bit late, but not enough to make a screen. And that's up in the netting for a stop of play. Yeah, a lot of great uh, chances being created here by both teams by actually coming across the net rather than driving straight to the net, coming across the net to get shots away, and then putting bodies there for rebounds. So it's it's a very very clever play actually. Face off, Thunder. They have possession. Moment, Woodman. Can't get it through the oh, North Star sticks, cool. and Banger gets it away again. So it's four and four at the moment. Banger trying to get it across the draw He's sneaking into the back door where they scored the last one, and it's frozen by Vixton with a stop of play. So we've got 106 until the North Stars have a short power play. Yeah, it's, it's just so exciting to watch skilled players like that, like Sammy Banger just then knocking that puck out of the air, controlling it while it's rolling, and still getting a chance to get a shot away. Nothing came of it other than another good offensive faceoff. But you've got to create the opportunity, and by those skills, that's how you do it. Face off. So we've got Dubai playing at the moment with uh, with Richard Tesserick. It's a two forwards moment because we're on four and four. Good long pass picked off there by Dubai, but it's now squeezed down and into the North Star zone. Thunder trying to set up, not connecting on the pass there. Takes a shot instead, and it's high. Around it goes past the North Star's bench, and they. Play is stopped. We're going back to the North Stars end by the looks of it. Mm, it looks like came out in that zone. 12.15 left in the third period. There's 45 seconds until the North Stars get a short power play of oh, 22 seconds, I guess. Three all still the score. Yeah, it certainly did take all the momentum out of the Thunder, though, by pulling that divide. Hazelhurst getting that penalty. So the North Stars will be happy with that. All they've got to do now is just consolidate. Tossed down ice, and it's going to be picked up by the Thunder, Kudla. He'll look for options. It's touched by Tesserick, so there's no icing or anything, and Dane Davis goes out to play it. Down to 12 minutes left in the game. That's off a stick and into the bench, into the penalty bench, so a stop of play, 11.56 left in the third. Yeah, both teams are starting to actually slow down a little bit. It hasn't yes. been the sort of frantic speed that we certainly got in the first part of the first period. Um, I guess five on five does allow you to be frantic. Four on four, power play, penalty kill. It's a bit more difficult. More of a grind. Puck off a couple of sticks there. Drelay will pick it up. He waits, fakes, and he's going to button hook now to the point man. Schmuck tries a shot. Stopped by Rixton with 11.45 left in the third. We had a lot of stop of place. Well, Rixton's quite happy to take those. He's not going to get any rebounds off that. Now it's a shot, good shot from Paddy Ward from the point. Pops are just a little bit high, hitting Viston right in the, the emblem. It'd be nice, maybe a bit lower, maybe again the rebound, because that's the thing he's really been struggling with today. Villo versus Drolet. Villo wins that one. It goes back to 
Woodman. Woodman takes it up with heaps of speed. He's got wheels. Going up the middle, tries to drive the net. Backhander attempt, and it's wide. It's been picked up there by Velo. Spins and fires, and it's can't find a Davis, but he stops it. And 11.28 left in the third. Great goaltending there by Davis. He just had to paddle, had his pads down on the ice, so it doesn't matter where the shot was coming from, it wasn't going in. He couldn't see it, but by having the pads on the ice, it nothing was going to go past him. Great goaltending. That's what you want, guys that can actually know that and make sure that they take away any chances that the Thunder are going to have. Great goaltending. It looked like he couldn't see it, but he was in the right position. He, right and he made the save position. anyway. Perfect. It was Marcotte at the face-off. North Stars win it, though. They're going to go up the left wing. Carry it now is Richie Tosarek. He fakes. He does get it away. Shot. Yeah, nice goal. Nice goal. Domga Bay. Love that one. Newcastle up 4-3 to three here in the third period. Good Bay. What a great shot. Just boom over the shoulder and in the net. Good vision by the North Stars to see that play develop. And Tesarek to actually make it all happen was fantastic. That's what they needed. Now Woodman's out there telling his boys to settle down, settle down, settle down. But this is what the North Stars needed to get in front of the game. Richie Tesserick has been one of the better players a lot of last season and even tonight. And he was rewarded there for his hard work in that away. Well, he's through, the, through the crowd, got it to the goodbye to finish. He's doing a work that a lot of the imports do. He's playing power play, he's playing penalty kill, he's doing a five on five shift. I mean, he's, he's really doing everything. He did what McCutt did. He drew the man, who got the pass away, and that set up the goal. Great play. So we're seeing some great plays from both times, teams. Here's goodbye again. Gets the pass away. In front. Oh, it's cut off there by Woodman. Tesserick was trying to give it back to goodbye to, for another finish. Well, he should have been a bit more selfish. <laughs> it should a good, have been a bit more It was selfish. in a good shooting lane. <laughs> So, uh, Dominic Kapai, he did a pretty good job this last season, but the season before, he outshot pierre Olivier Gramazon. A name wow. you remember from last year. Yes. North, he was uh, Perth Thunder's top scorer. Top he was scorer. the league's top scorer last yep. year. That's sensational So, we player. have... Dominic Kapai is, he has, at times, beaten uh, Gramazon in scoring, so he's up there, and he was... Kapai wasn't as effective this year, but he was still very, like, in the top 10 to the player. Maybe the top 20. I think it's about 16th in the league. That's French Division 1, by the way. Mm. Here we go. Two on one. Jolay. Got some speed. Goes inside. Banger hands it off. Shoots. It's nice save, Vixen. It's loose, though. It's frozen. Great goaltending by Nico Vixen. <laughs> that was desperate stuff. That was a wonderful play again. Moving the puck across the goalie so he isn't able to settle and get in position. So they're able to get the shot away. It was really, really well done. One too and many passes? I thought Bengt could have taken that. Well, anyone could have. I mean, in the end, it was a great opportunity. Viston only just got it and he really struggled with the rebound. So it wasn't a bad play. 10.30 left. We're about the halfway mark here in this third period. North Stars now leading 4-3 after getting two back in this period. And Boeing gets a small hit on. And down low it goes. Carrying the puck right now is Pundler. He gets it around the boards. And tossed down ice. And we're going to have a battle for the puck at Newcastle Blue Line. Separated from the puck there is Kieran Webster. Newcastle going to skate under the loose puck. We're now to the halfway oh, mark. Ten minutes so left close. in the third. And that's icing called on the North Stars. As they lost a handle on that. And Waring and Pundler push and separate. Yeah, Alistair Pundler managed to just get a little sneaky one in, so that's why Liam was questioning whether he really needed to do that. Got a bit of 5-on-5 five five for a while. It's a nice change, Steve. Great it's change, speeded yeah. up the game, isn't well, it? Well, it's fantastic, because that's what the North Stars need. I mean, they have such wonderful speed. They want to stay 5-on-5. Five five. Hello. Got some pressure on. He gets it around. Davis watching from the point through the crowd, and it goes out off some bodies and wide chipped off the boards there and into the Thunder Zone that'll be another icing yeah, I expect it's yes. not exactly what Pat Naden wanted no a bit too much mustard on that one mm. and it's going to be another stop of play mm. yeah and Pat Naden's had a wonderful game for the North Stars tonight his enthusiasm has been terrific um, he hadn't, hasn't had as many probably scoring opportunities as he would like but certainly as a defensive forward he's been wonderful Newcastle win that one Fired down ice, goes through under the stick there of uh, Woodman, who is full stretch. Linden Lodge, it's a puck away, it's off a skate though, so it'll go to Paddy Ward from Newcastle. 
Another pass, that one hit the stick, and into the zone come the North Stars. Goodbye, Waits, shows down low. He might try the power move. No, he tries to hand it off to Hamish Powell. But Thunder have possession. Right now, it's Hazelhurst working with Woodman. Support there by um, Bro. Bro, 36. Hazelhurst doubles back as he's got pressure on him right now, and it goes to Velo. Long pass under the stick of Bro. Under the stick there, Newcastle on the attack. Goodbye. Drives towards the net. You can tell these guys love their hockey. Around the boards it goes. Woodman helps it along. Doesn't get out of the zone yet. Yep. It does get out of the zone. Right, I thought it stayed in. No, yeah, no, no. no. Mindy says it's out, yep. so we've got a, a face-off outside the zone. Yeah, the linesman was right there, so obviously he saw that and he's calling it deliberate and we're going all the way down the ice. Oh, okay. 8.36 left in that period. 4-3 to three now, the lead for the North Stars there. In their end, though, they're going to have a face-off to Davis's left. Well, Puck is loose, chipped away. Controlling the Thunder import line is going to be crucial now. Hang up, we'll fire that down ice, scoop it down ice anyway. Right, Jane Ryan with a burst of speed comes to cover. He might be needed here. Cuts off Webster. Banger working with him. Gets a puck. Such a good battler down low. McMahon grabbing the stick there. Got away with that one. Yeah. <laughs> the referee's on the other side. So it was a sneaky D move. I'm all over those moves. As you know, I support them. I'm not capable of them. <laughs> Banger battles down with McMahon. Oh, Loose in steal. front. Can he steal it? No. It's taken away by Kudler. Dave Kudler. Long pass. Under the stick there of uh, Jake Ruck and Newcastle now they'll bring it back Looking inside quick little shot through the screen there Banger with the scraps loose trolley on there better save by Vixton keeps it in the zone Banger protects the puck so well I'm to the blue line and slipped away you're going to have to double back there Matt Lindsay and uh, Paddy Ward will go back to retrieve it it's made a difference having Matt Lindsay back Steve no, it seems to have settled the defense a little bit. Yeah, there's no doubt. And gives, obviously, other options for, for the coaches, too. Yeah, it means that they can bring Dave Ferrari in as a bit more of a rotation and yep. uh, and keep the guys fresh. Yep. When there was just four last week, it was noticeable. It was a bit tough at times on defense. Thunder get a chance here. But picked up now by Goodbye. And Thunder probably getting tired. They've been out for a lot, a long period. Quick shot on Ennis. Saved by Vixton. A good one. Newcastle 2. They're tied. 6.57 left in the game. Yeah, look, this is going to be a real bit of attrition now as to who can come through right to the end. I mean, there's only seven minutes to go, so there's not much longer to go. But saying all that, one shot from the Thunder, it's 4-all. So uh, yeah. it's really important the North Stars keep their pressure game going. It's been a pretty good pace, and I'm starting to see it a bit in the plays, as you, as you hear from us. Shot on net through the screen to save by Vixton. Gets up high and smothers that beautifully. Yeah. Smack notes that was a little bit too high as well too. And just giving a nod to everybody. Yeah. That's the last thing as a forward you want to see is a puck coming at your head. He got up on his tippy toes to smother that. Did a good job in the end. Chance through the screen. It's off a stick and high. Or it, no, it's gone off Shane Southwood. It yeah. looks like he's hurt him. So he's heading to the bench. He's not happy. Leaf on the ice right now as Drolet comes on. And I think he'll be headed to the change room, Shane Southwood. So apparently it's hit him in the wrist. Jamie Woodman gets a pass away. Backhanded into the North Star zone and pursuing that is Kieran Webster. He's got it down low, still got it. North Stars using their sticks though, active sticks to control it. Bro with a shot from a cute angle and a stop by Davis for 6.13 left still, 4-3 North Stars. I had the privilege of working with Ben Bro at the January Ice Hockey Australia development camp here in Newcastle and Ben has just a wonderful shot. He could put it wherever he wanted to so I really take my hat off to Dane Davis there to be able to snaffle that one. That was a great save. Face off. Bit of a mix up, Thunder there, can't control it. Newcastle are going to get it in the neutral zone. They're going to into the Thunder zone. Coming to the net is Jane Ryan. Working with Rolay. Rolay. Ryan tries oh. to get a pass. He probably should have taken a shot. shot. Mm. He's just not confident to have a go. Ryan. 
Gets the puck back. Through the screen. And it's turned aside by defense. Marcotte shovels the puck out. Velo will dump it in. Marcotte back on the puck. Paddy Ward with the active stick. Keeps it alive. Hazelhurst into the corner. Plans down. Davis down. Stops the puck. 5.25 left in the third. Well, this is really the line that the, uh, the Thunder have had on the ice that uh, the North Stars are going to have to really pay attention to because they can score. They're all coming off with their hands on their knees, though. So uh, they're all obviously exhausted. And they've still got five minutes to go. I think Thunder are running a bit of a shorter bench. Do you feel that, too? Oh, absolutely. I Through have the to, screen. Yeah. And right now we've got Hamish Powell out there and Richie Tesserick. So Newcastle have been able to run pretty much three lines, or uh, well at least two and a half to three. Haven't yeah. seen a lot of kind of shorts tonight. Just helps to have that depth so you can do that. Hazelhurst will backhand that. If they don't get out of the zone, they do now with some help. As uh, right now is Tom Sack carrying it forward. Now under the puck is Kieran Webster. Oh. Shot is wide or high or both. Loose and... Push through neutral O's by North Stars. He's got some help coming in. Shoots just wide at the top corner was Dominic Gabay. He had Tommy, uh, not Tommy Powell, that's Hamish Powell. Tommy Powell's number 12. Where's it for the other team? Jamie Woodman waits. Gets it away to a pundler. Knocking it down is Mark Crot. Skating onto it. Andre Smuck. Castle. Got some space right now, has Banger. Hicks it in the middle. Got some space, takes a shot, save! No stay by Vixton. Yeah, that's the kind of play that uh, goal scorers are doing now, is they'll come down hard one wing and then cut right across the face of the net and get a shot away because they've got to get the goalie moving. Whereas if you come straight down, the goalie just sits there and is set Stays and in takes the shot, no mm -hmm. problem. So it's a very, and I hope any young kids that are watching this tonight are watching that because that's a great goal scorer play. Marcotte taking the face off. Nick Air giving directions of where they should be. So there was also a change to face-offs as well. Shot on net. Stopped by Vixen. We didn't talk about the disallowed goal. I forgot about that. Yes. So the opportunity. Quick go. Yes. Okay. So what was happening is that Paddy Ward was going to be called for a penalty before any of that happened. So on the rush back, Paddy Ward was going to be penalised. Right. When Dane Davis made the initial save, that blue played dead. Yep. So then the goal scored after that wouldn't count after because play. play had already been was supposed to be blown, blown dead blown at that dead. point. That's why it was a penalty to Newcastle, but not a goal to Perth. Whoops. Yeah, got him uh, for that. That's going to be a penalty. Yeah. <laughs> Jaden Ryan's going to sit two minutes. And with four, three minutes and 59 left in the third, bad timing for Newcastle, but that was uh, accidental. And it doesn't matter. That's still two minutes yeah. on the North Stars. Yeah, poor Jaden. Just unlucky it happened right in front of everybody. So it wasn't like he could hide it either. So uh, it's, it's obvious it was a trip. And this is going to be a real big opportunity now for the Perth Thunder. If they can pop this goal, they're back in the game. Obviously, the North Stars want to kill it, so it's going to be two minutes of intense pressure right now. Puck to the left of Dane Davis has dropped. Newcastle win the face off. Malloy will scoop it down ice, and it's bouncing awkwardly towards Vixton, who uses the paddle to make the stop, pushes it to Hazelhurst. He talks to Marcotte, who's going to go up the middle. Whoops. No, he loses the puck. Nearly lost. We don't want to leave it to Dom Goodbye. Newcastle happy to kill some time on it. Ben Malloy has a puck. He's going to scoop it down ice again. A lob shot. And forechecking is Richie Tesserick. That pass a little errant, but Rob Hazelhurst skates under it and starts to set up the power play to the point now. Ben Bro. Newcastle form their box. From the top, fake in the circle, shot by Bro. And send aside, and Newcastle looks like they might get position. Well, they chip it out of the zone, they do, and they're down to the halfway point on this penalty kill as the clock ticks down to three minutes. North Star still with the lead, 4 3. Davis plays that away to his teammate, as there's no Thunder players close to him. Newcastle happy to kill some time. It's getting onto it as Drolet. Moves in, middle, in the middle. He's got some scoring lanes here. He hands it off instead. Sammy Banger happy to kill some time. Remember North Stars one up. Fake. Newcastle killing time beautifully right at the moment. Not too worried about scoring. Dumped in and skating into the zone is Banger. 
he challenges Vixton, but it gets the puck out to to Kudla. He, he has it still, gets it to Woodman. Anger conserving energy a little. Woodman now with a burst of speed, got big strides. Setting up. Up it in, around the boards it goes. It's coming the other side to Bros closing in. Yeah. Got faked out there a bit. Oh, it's not Sammy Banger. Well done. <laughs> Great fake. That was good. <laughs> yeah, completely missed it and he fooled Ben Bro as well. All right. Woodman. Great kill by the Here's North Here's a chance stars. now. We're equal. Equal teams. Woodman gets it into the zone. Skating onto it now as Tom Sack. Off the boards. That was a pretty damn good kill by the North Stars. Off a player that one and loose, but Thunder first to it. Woodman, he's got pressure on him by goodbye. Good reverse. Pat Naden there with him too. Off Naden's legs, fighting for the puck. He gets the puck back. He's got help. He's got Tesserick in front. Now it's gone. Bounce to Velo. So Thunder with possession, but they're setting up. But that's not a good pass. That's gone to Pat Naden. who's come around, trying to get away. Shot is high. It goes over the head of Vixton into the glass. Long pass. Goes to Bro. Puck is loose and then players gear. Player stop is 1.12 left in the period, Steve. I tell you, Dave Ruck, Coach Ruck for the Perth Thunder would be thinking now, geez, I wish I had another timeout up my sleeve because yeah. he really needs to settle his team. His import line is Ig Zorstead. And uh, I don't know how much more he'll be able to get out of him in all seriousness. Because all has gone off. I don't think he's feels like coming back at the moment. So and they're going to need Keep an eye on Vixton. He's right in front of us. He's waving to yep. the bench. He's asking he for direction. Starting to, here, here he goes, comes. we've got an empty net in the Perth end. Dane Davis can't clear the puck. Newcastle have the possession now, they're firing down ice, but not Perth Thunder have the numbers. They do have an empty net. Woodman. Right now it's Webster. Thunder trying to get away cleanly. Newcastle happy to fire it down ice, we're down to 44 seconds. Ben Brow with the puck. For checking is Drolet. Can't knock it down there southward, so he's okay after that earlier hit. Velo, power move. Ooh, oh, over the falls. What a great hip check. Beautiful hip check. Was that Matthew? No, I don't or, think so. Or, uh, but no, it was Andre Smart. It was Andre Smart. That was uh -oh. over the fall. Watch out, Smart might get his first goal here. He's got an empty net. He fires. Scores! Yeah, he does it! <laughs> first goal for the North Stars here, Andre Smart. And that should do it with just 16 seconds left in the game. North Stars now up 5-3. to three. Now that's the seal there, just there. That's, that's wonderful. That's so great. He's had a great game. He's played so well back there on the defense. So it's wonderful to be rewarded with a goal like that. And it's been a real privilege and a pleasure to watch his play tonight. Such a great defenseman, but such a great offensive player as well. Oh, we're lucky too. to have him. I really wish we could have him the whole season, though. But um, correct. And every time I see him, he just has the biggest smile on his face. Oh, yeah. He's so loving it here. So <laughs> it's been really good because I'm hoping we can get him back in next year, of course. So yeah, that's the plan. But he's playing League Magnus, a very good league. They want their players back early in the season for preparation for next season. So understandable. Uh, absolutely understandable. Face off one by the North Stars. We've got the last 14, 15 seconds here. That's chipped down ice. Newcastle have that two goal buffer, so the pressure's off him now. That's dumped into the corner. And Vixton waits for it. Kept into the zone. Newcastle. Naden backhands it. Goes through the paint. That's it. That's it. Newcastle win it. Five goals to three. Well, Steve, that's really a game of three periods, isn't it? Like. We had a North Stars period, we had a Thunder period, we had a North Stars period. Oh, absolutely. And the North Stars deserved the game. I mean, uh, really, they played so well at times that it was outstanding. Yes, there was flat periods, there's no doubt about that. But there's no doubt that they controlled the game, took a lot of the things away from the Perth Thunder that they wanted. And certainly when they had their cycle game going in the offensive zone, they were so dangerous. Uh, the Thunder, to their credit, when they had the opportunity on the quick transition, they took that opportunity yeah, yeah. and popped a couple of really good goals for them. Well done. Fantastic. It just seemed to me that the North Stars actually built a goal. You know, there wasn't a lot of stuff off the rush and all that. They actually built a goal mm -hmm. and then made something happen. So that, that's that's great. That's the kind of stuff you really need to be doing. Yeah, and um, I, I said last week when Lucy and I had the call that I thought that the coach had a big influence. I thought that he his influence, as well as the leaders in his team, changed the team enough and what they did and was a 
execute, change the execution enough to turn around the game against the Bears when yep. we're down 3 0. Yep. It could have been game over at that point. Correct. And the other game, uh, even against the, um, when we had um, uh, the other team in last week, we even though it wasn't as Melbourne tough, Ice. Melbourne Ice, who were very short last week, yep. they were extremely short. Um, but to have them refocus, because they weren't playing that well in the second, once again. So to get them refocused, to have them execute again and play better, whether you score or not. But they just played better. Well, so you, well you've got to create it. So, yeah, you know, if you create it, then the goals will come. So, uh, there's no doubt that uh, the coaching staff have done a wonderful job with the North Stars. You see the speed, the things that they're doing already, the structure. It's, it's the defensive zone play has been wonderful. Yeah, you know? it has. So, hmm. Well, we have seen um, the, the team isn't all that different as far as personnel from last year, but I think there's a really different feeling or, or vibe or attitude with the team this year that's yep. a lot more uh, determined and a lot more focused and that seems to be paying off for them. Yep, and you were, we talked before about uh, there hasn't really been many people debuting for the North Stars and coming through. But remember, the North Stars are a relatively young team. You know, when you think of the Hamish Pals and the Stangers and the, I mean, like, yes, they're sort of getting to the late 20s now, but they all came through at the same time. Yeah, they did. And uh, so that's why, you know, there's really been no need. The, the problem could also be, like, in five years, yeah. when they're all mid-30s, and uh, maybe that could be a problem now. Yeah, we've been, seen that in some of the other teams. Yes, correct. But they're still a relatively young team with a lot of players coming into their prime right now. Uh, that late 20s, uh, early 30s. So it, it bodes well for the team. It sure really it bodes well. Yeah. Mm. Really entertaining game, though, Steve. Uh, so so much fun to watch a game with the two pretty closely matched teams. They have a first period go one way, and then it goes back the other way, and then yeah. back again. So always really entertaining. Cool. Had a good crowd here tonight. I know the phones are going off all day. Mm. People trying to get last-minute tickets. Yep. So we're lucky we already had one uh, some seats up here. <laughs> they're great they're, seats. There's seats that keep going down, by the way. So, <laughs> yeah. no, I, I love the game when it's played five on five. And when it was played five on five tonight, the sudden wonderful skill sets shown, some incredible speed yeah. uh, shown by both teams at times. I mean, the Thunder have to be very, very happy with their defensive core. It's quick, it's fast, yeah. plays well, and it contributes to the offense. So uh, certainly Coach Ruck and the, I'm sure the Perth Pop Thunder fans will be very, very happy with that side of the game. They obviously just need to score more goals. I mean, we've seen that the two previous games. They haven't scored except in the, uh, in the shootout. And tonight they did really well. They sort of unleashed... The demon a little bit, you know, yeah, and uh, and popped a few, but they need to score more goals. So, just on that thought, I was just thinking, in the second period, the North Stars were kind of disjointed. They weren't yep. connecting. Cl we saw that a fair bit with the Thunder. They didn't seem, I mean, they've got some really classy players out there, but we couldn't didn't see them kind of working very well together. Yep. For me, that was a difference. What do you think might be causing that, or what can they do to kind of solve that? Well, very often, you've heard me say this a hundred times, Peter, you play as well as the opposition allows you to play. And, oh, I uh, think, yeah, yeah. There's no doubt enough. the North Stars at stages lifted their game so that the Thunder didn't have room out there on the ice. Where the North Stars got in trouble in the second period is that they gave the puck away a lot. Mm. And uh, the Thunder, because they compacted a bit more, because they knew they had a problem in the defensive zone, uh, wasn't allowing the North Stars to come through with their long stretch passes, cross-ice passes, all that sort of stuff. So they were giving the puck away a lot, and that's where the Thunder came back into the game. After that, you can see that at the start of the third period, the North Stars didn't come out at a thousand miles an hour. You know, they came out actually quite calm and structured and it sort of built the period and it built the goals and it built the win so uh, it's, a, it's a credit to the coaching staff to make that happen. That's really what a coach wants to see is an, oh. a, win, a win that is built, a Correct. win that is planned, a win that is controlled Correct. and, and, and even against adversity as well because that shows metal and, show, and it, it gets your team used to that confidence that know they can win when they're from behind. Yeah, you need resilience, you need to resilience. know that even yeah. we're down we're going to come back, we're going to come back, we're going to come back and obviously when the North Stars were down 3-0 against the Bears to come back like that is wonderful so there's obviously resilience on this team and that was shown again tonight I mean uh, the Thunder looked really good at the end of that second period but the North Stars bounced back and built that win a real credit to them well tomorrow they've got uh, Adelaide Adrenaline they're coming into town uh, I know that uh, Joe Rizik isn't playing from this weekend because I actually chatting with him yep. earlier today so uh, hi if you're watching Joe um, and uh, last I saw they were down by about three to Ice Dogs um, so it's going to be a young team. This, this is a team that's full of future Australian stars, future yes. Australian um, team stars, like Ryan Fall and Jack Riley. And yeah, Zach Boyle. I mean, yeah, it's Zach a Boyle. few of them. I mean, uh, they're going to miss Joseph Resnick. I mean, 
the Australian team missed Joseph Resnick when he wasn't on the ice. I mean, <laughs> he's on the team, but he wasn't on the ice. You know what I mean? I mean, when he's on the ice, he just created stuff and made yeah. things happen. Uh, you wanted him on the power play all the time. You wanted him five on five because of what he does. So there's no doubt that Adelaide's going to miss him. I think so. I'm looking forward to seeing their other players there. They've got some great players coming out this year. So. Yep. Um, I'm hoping that uh, it's a nice close game tomorrow and they definitely have the ability to do it because there's some stars there I'm really looking forward Correct. to seeing in the future. Yeah. So well, you enjoy the call, mate. I won't be with you tomorrow, so you right enjoy it. We'll carry it through. We'll do <laughs> we'll wish you tomorrow. So uh, that's pretty much it for you and I, Steve, tonight. So the North Stars 5 defeat the Perth Thunder 3. We're about to send you over to North Stars Live, so stick around. Uh, Ellie and Matt Gav are here. They're going to be talking to some coaches, some players. So that's it for us tonight. We'll catch you tomorrow night when the Adelaide Adrenaline are in town. Until then, bye from me. And that's bye from me. Good night. Hi everyone, welcome back to North Stars Live. We just wrapped up here, uh, North Stars versus uh, Perth Thunder. What an incredible game. The North Stars uh, come out with the win, 5-3, but it was not at all an easy game. No, not at all. Gav, let's chat. <laughs> it was incredible. It was so, a great start. We yeah. got up two goals and um, all the momentum was our way. A mm. uh, bit of against the flow, a few goals for yep. Perth. Um, all the goals were scored down on the western side of the rink. Every goal was scored down this end. So um, that was quite interesting. Must be the tilt of the ice <laughs> or something. Or must have been a headwind going the other way. But uh, I assure you, the ice is perfectly <laughs> There's no tilt. But yeah, great yeah. comeback in yeah, the end. Absolutely. So to be down two goals, second period was terrible for the North Stars. We, um, yeah. they, the, they outscored us two goals to nothing in that period. Almost um, three. There was a goal waved, waved off Waved off, yeah. yeah. Did you know what the call was on that? No, I missed yeah. it. I'm sorry. So it looked to me from where I was standing that um, it was an interference on the goalie or the net was off. But no, apparently um, Joel Ward was called for a... Um, no, sorry, Paddy Ward was scored, uh, called for a um, hooking yeah. originally. And then as soon as the shot on um, Dane... Has, has hit him yep. and he's controlled it then that that is the oh, penalty okay. called so um the rebound there was no rebound for them to score and yeah it was a big call in the end really yeah. like because that could have really made a difference absolutely perth had some momentum at that stage and um yeah, yeah anything could happen so yeah and then north stars coming back in that third period yeah gave it their all and um three goals in that third period there yeah 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 because we were down we we're down uh three two and then come back to win five to five three so. i can't do math <laughs> But so yeah, yeah. and uh, all individual scorers tonight yep. for North Stars, which is good, good across the board. We were yeah. running three lines, pretty conse consecutive, yep. and um, that's I think what really hurt Perth in the end. They only were running two lines, mm. they had their import line and then their sort of local train player yep. line, and um, yeah, well, it was good to see that um, JFK is is giving a lot of 
credit to our yeah. third lines. Yeah. Um, he's mixing it up, putting a few other players together. Yep. Um, Connor got out for a shift. Um, that not very very long shift, <laughs> but that's good for him to touch the hey, ice. Hey, AHL debut. Yeah, got to touch the puck, touch the ice, and uh, yeah, he'll he'll be good for it. He'll he'll probably get again yeah. a game again tomorrow night. So. Yeah, so let's run through a couple of those goals. So, um, as Gav said, we had five, the North Stars had five individual goal scorers tonight. Um, Captain Burt Moy with the first yeah. goal, and it was his 200 AIHL point. So, a big one for yeah, him. Yeah, that was he huge. Gets that, he gets that puck. They were like taping it up, riding on it yeah, yeah. Um, after the first I'd say three. he was totally unaware of that, too. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a big, good, good recognition yeah, for him absolutely. to get 200 points so yeah yeah absolutely and then um Lee Men wearing with yeah. that follow up in the first period that was a good shot too um, yeah. yeah he was very excited by that <laughs> you can see it on his face after he uh, Liam likes to get to the crowd too so that's <laughs> yeah, great yeah. he's got some fans in the crowd so yeah. absolutely uh yeah like uh, like you were saying um it was a no goal period for us in period two but um uh, Perth's captain um Jamie Woodman and their import uh Kevin um I can't Felix see. or something. Felix, <laughs> yes. Um, he scored. He also scored their first period goal as well. So yeah. two goals to him tonight. Yeah, that, he was a force out that there. That third goal he got. That third goal that he got um, coming through the middle. It was a bit of a um, misplay by the North Stars. They yeah. just sort of threw the puck through the middle. He picked it up, come through. Great shot. Yeah, top yeah. corner on, on Dane. So, yeah. yeah. And then third period uh, for the North Stars, um, goals coming from our three new imports, yeah. so Francis Drolet, Dom Gabay, and then Andre Smuck yeah. as well. and they were all pretty goals. Andre's uh, empty netter at the end, yep. but he put on a good hit too to, to get that puck and, and get some free, free ice time. But the two goals previous, the goals to equalise and then go ahead, um, were really pretty goals. Good passing drills and great shots to... Because yeah. that quality goalie, Perth's quality goalie, was uh, making some huge... Like, he really kept them yeah. in the game. And, um, yeah, to get pucks past him um, was a good effort. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yep. And um, just, as, you know, sort of speaking um, about that comeback from the North Stars, mm. like that would be a huge confidence well, booster. Well, look what they did against the Bears. Like yeah. we came back from a, a deficit there and then again to do it again. Yeah. today so um yeah but we'll, we'll get some guys on to talk yeah absolutely yeah. we're gonna get perth um the thunder coach dave ruck on first yeah so i'll go grab him to it, but yeah we're gonna get dave ruck on and just have a bit of a chat about the um game from perth's perspective and um how they how they're feeling post post game hi dave howdy hi how's it going not too bad that's good i feel like i'm very tall it's all right so, yeah, we've finished up here, um, a 5-3 game. Um, run us through it from your perspective. Uh, you know, we the North Stars did get two quick goals from you. You had that timeout you called, got one back, and really started steamrolling in the second period. Um, yeah, what was going through your mind when it was 2-0? Well, uh, flashbacks to last Saturday, actually, <laughs> when we went yep. down uh, by three goals, down 3-0. We just couldn't come back, so... Just had to make sure that the boys regrouped before yep. they got the third one, and uh, it was great to see us get that one back. Yep. Uh, second period, yeah, we were feet were moving, we were we were steamrolling. <laughs> uh, that took a lot out of us, though. Yeah. And I think uh, right at the start, the first shift, we hit the post, mm -hmm. and uh, I think if that one would have went in, and then that would have lifted the energy. But yeah. hitting the post and uh, expending a lot of energy, and then uh, you know. The North Star's getting the next one. Uh, it just took a bit of wind out yeah. of our sails. And, um, and, and that, uh, was that just sort of a contributed to sort of that third period there where just not able to get a, get that other extra goal? Yeah, we had a couple of chances. We just couldn't get it. And um, then, uh, yeah, our legs yeah. just got a little tired, I think. Yeah. And uh, um, needed, a, needed that jump of energy. And running two lines... Um, well, today, is it, is it, do you have a short band? Are you waiting for some guys? Uh, yeah, look, we do have a couple of guys that couldn't make the trip. Um, and uh, we, I actually, I did double shift the imports all game, but uh, as far as the second line, I, I rotated a few guys yeah. through that line. So, so, uh, so I, the second yeah. line, if you want to call it that, was a bit fluid. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we are missing a couple guys yeah. and, um, as you can see, the pace of that game was, it was a quick game, so I just didn't want to throw anybody yeah. out there and uh, have them get exposed, yeah, you know, yeah. first go. You want to build their confidence as Absolutely. well. 
And um, your or no, import, Kevin, I, I'm not sure how you say his last name. Yeah. Villo? V- Vio. 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 Oh, we're so very close. Kevin was... Well, I, don't, I might be wrong too. <laughs> <laughs> he was a big player for you tonight, um, physically um, and on the score sheet. Um, talk to us about him um, importing or importing him this year, <laughs> having yeah. him as an import. Yeah, look, uh, both him and uh, Lewick mm. are... Uh, look, I, I can see them... They're still struggling a little bit with the jet lag, yeah. and then uh, and, and and you know, and they got to work during the week and yeah, stuff, absolutely. and so their bodies are a little sore and tired. They're just getting used to being here. I yeah. know they they struggle a bit, and uh, we couldn't couldn't find Big Kev a good bed the first <laughs> week he was here. So so I see them getting better. You yeah, know, um, I I know that they're they're not quite at their best yet. So it was good good signs today, yeah. and uh, I'm sure they'll get better as as the season goes. And where are you off to tomorrow? Yeah, so we're back to Sydney, down to Sydney, and uh, play the dogs. So, um, really, just looking to get a good start. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I wish you all the best. We'll let you uh, go and get ready, and uh, we'll chat with you next time you guys are in at here. All right, thanks. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Well, that was Dave Ruck from the Perth Thunder, head coach of Perth Thunder, just having a chat about um, the game tonight. It was a 5 3 win to the North Stars. And we're having John Kennedy Jr. on now. Hey, John. How's it going? I'm great. How are you? I'm very well. I can imagine. Glad to be in Newcastle today. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we had a chat in the after the first period. Yeah. You know, you guys were leading 3-2. Um, that second period there, kind of foot off the clutch kind of situation, Perth yeah. came back. But, yeah, eventually getting that win. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Uh, you know, you got to take your points how you can get them. Yeah. And... Um, you know, whether it's good or ugly, like we found a way to win today, and that was the biggest thing. Um, made a couple adjustments, as always, in the second, going into the third, and I think that helped us out. Yep. And um, at the end of the day, the boys, we have the wheels to keep going. Um, yeah. You know, from the, from the beginning of the period to the end, our guys have the energy to sustain and uh, be able to get the extra goals that we needed. To come back um, in such a manner, and we did it in the in the first game against yeah. the Bears. You know, they were leading, which is ideally not what you want. Your, you know, your team leading, but to dig deep and find a way to come back. What does that say about the team that you have this year? Oh, uh, look, from a coaching perspective, it builds trust. Yeah. You, you build trust within your players and what they're able to do. Mm-hmm. For the players, it gives them confidence. It gives them confidence to to not stress out if they're down by one goal, down by two, because we know we have the guys in the locker room to be able to make those plays, you know. Um, obviously, they capitalized. They had a, a great set of forwards that could bury the puck, and they did. You know, it exposed us defensively, and I think we talked about that, yeah. that th- we would get challenged more defensively. So, um, you know what, uh, we rose to the challenge, and, you know, like you said, even though we were down, we found a way to get those goals that we needed. I was going to ask you, yeah, like, um, you know, you sort of spoke about being wanting to be a more – challenge defensively yeah. I think um, that might have happened tonight oh look their rush game was really good um, uh, players like Jamie Woodman skating with the puck uh, Hasselhurst their defensemen were able to carry the puck into yeah. the zone and uh, it gave us a couple fits but like at the end of the day I think Dane shut the door when he needed to yep. and um, you know those are things that we'll look to adjust uh, moving forward yeah absolutely and um, we have uh, five different goal scorers tonight it was really well rounded ah, that makes sense no, look, I don't look at the <laughs> score sheet. Like, I, to be honest, like I'm, I'm happy for the yeah. boys. And it, it's, a, once again, a testament to a full team win. Um, ev- like, every line was out there going, going hard. And, you know, even our defensive defensive guys, they had to hold back a little bit more today. But, like you said, everyone was out there contributing. Oh, and yeah. I think even a defenseman scored tonight as well. Yeah, Schmack yeah, got Schmack. his first one. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. Uh, yeah, we were just talking a little bit before um, with Captain Malloy's first goal there. Uh, he's 200 AIHL point. Do you have any idea? Do you know? Uh, t- Joey's better at that stuff than I am. I'm not looking at the stats. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm more worried about other things. But I think he knew it, yeah. and uh, that's an incredible milestone yeah. to, to make. So hats off to Bert and his career. It's yeah. been fantastic. And uh, look, I hope there's plenty more for that to come this year yeah. and many more. And so now it's a reset uh, kind of situation and back here tomorrow. Yep. So, uh, look, we're playing game two, and um, I know Adelaide was just uh, is in Sydney right now. I don't know how that game's going, but um, that fourth period is important for both teams to, you know, come out flying yep. and, you know, establish uh, the tone for that, that second game of the weekend. So yeah, the boys will look to uh, rest, recover, and uh, be uh, ready for tomorrow's game. Right. All righty. We'll leave you there, and we'll have a chat with Rob Hazelhurst now. All righty. Thanks so much, John. Alrighty, well, it's John Kennedy Jr. from the Newcastle North Stars, head coach. Just had a bit of a chat about tonight's win, and we're going to get Rob Hazelhurst uh, from the Perth Thunder on.
Hey, Rob. <laughs> hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, thanks. Good to have you back. Yeah, it's good to be back. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah, had a bit of a cracker game tonight, but wasn't quite the um, uh, outcome you were hoping for. Oh, well, my second favourite team in the league won, so... <laughs> <laughs> Very diplomatic. <laughs> Talk to us about what was going, around, oh, going on out in the ice there. Oh, well, oh, it, was a, it was a fun game. Um, it was only our third game of the season, so everybody's still getting a little bit of chemistry going. Um, uh, we have a bit of a, a treat for you. Uh, a bit of a oh. from uh, last season. Oh, look at that. Uh, How about don't that? Don't say we don't treat our guests nicely. But, uh, uh, <laughs> this is living. I'm going to have to have a little this snack of this. There's no though. So, yeah, no, you've got to keep talking, though. Oh. Eating and talking. Oh. Oh, let's see. I, I've done this before, I think, a couple times. So. <laughs> but, yeah, we're just talking a little bit about what was going on in the out, out on the ice there. Um, I did talk to Dave before, and he said, you know, you guys had, couldn't bring everyone um, this weekend. You'd be short and you know getting a bit tired lost a bit of steam would you would you say that's about right yeah definitely but it's no real excuse for letting that lead go in the in the third period like um, we should have been a little bit more disciplined and at least get it to overtime but um, yeah. I have to give it to Newcastle they um, played great have yeah. a lot of good guys on the roster and the imports look really good this year so they'll definitely be having a good yeah. season and yeah okay. so yeah you guys what we will re reset now and um, ready for tomorrow's game yeah definitely it's um, It'll be a little bit different going down to Sydney. Uh, no, no glass, obviously, down there. So <laughs> yeah. it's always a little bit weird. But um, it's a bit different. The the, the differences yeah, between the rings. Yeah, when you get pucks deep there, um, the, all the netting like hides <laughs> it, so it's, it's perfect for doing that. It's beautiful. Yeah. All righty, Rob. Well, we'll let you finish your platter oh, and um, go and have a shower. Yeah, thank th you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you, and yeah, no thanks to all the Newcastle fans and uh, everybody here. You guys are great. Well, it was great seeing you back. Yeah, thanks a lot. Here's, here's Bert. <laughs> thanks so much. Alrighty, well, we're going to get North Stars captain uh, Robert uh, Malloy on now. That was Rob Hazelhurst from Perth Thunder. We'll just have a bit more of a chat. Um, yeah. Hey, Bert. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good, thanks. What's First happening? one of these for the year. Uh, yeah, here we are. Yeah. How are you feeling after that game? Um, good start. Weak, middle, good finish. Yeah. Um, kind of took our foot off the pedal. They caught us off guard, caught us on our heels. So um, happy to get all the points yeah. you know uh, but that's one that we should have wanted to begin with yeah. they're missing a few guys so we got to really jump on these opportunities yeah. will that be something you might look at in practices this this week do you think well it's like how do you how do you coach consistency is that yeah. mental or putting together a full game yeah. um, we did the same thing at worlds against belgium we went up three nothing took our foot off the pedal and it ultimately came back to to bite us in the behind yeah. so with the you can see it when a, a team does, you know, take their foot off the pedal. But I'm not a hockey player, I, you know. What does that look like in the team, put, taking your foot off the pedal? Is it a relaxation? I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, I think it just comes, comes down to focus. Yeah. They, we knew that they were looking to, to jump on a counterattack on, mm -hmm. like, a fast break and try to get through us through the middle. Yeah. Um, and yet we still pinched a few times. I don't know. Sometimes you just need to take a step back, take yeah. a deep breath, and hit the reset button. Yeah, so. absolutely. And to come back in that third as strongly as you did, are you quite pleased to see that? Absolutely. Um, I, this team is fast. This team is good. Uh, I have all the confidence in the world yeah. with, with the guys in the locker room. So um, we kind of went to the locker room between the second and third and yeah. said, all right, you know, it's time. Let's go. We got a, we got one right off the bat, which was awesome, I think, like yeah. two minutes in. So yeah. that helped, and then we just dictated from there. Yeah, absolutely. And um, tonight you scored the first goal, but that was your 200th AIHL point. Yeah. How did that feel? Uh, yeah, it felt pretty good. I didn't even realize until I sat <laughs> up on the board. So, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, doesn't mean much. Uh, just happy to get the win. Yeah, it means you've been been around for a little yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it means I'm old. I, I, I get it. <laughs> and you know, yeah. you're experienced. That's experience. Nice yeah, way yeah to go I'm a about veteran. It. Great. And so tomorrow, um, Adelaide Adrenaline back here at Hiss. Yep. Um, yeah. It's another one that we need to yeah. win. It, it, we need to take, you know, all the points, not leave it close, jump on them early, and just. Yeah you know, play a full game to the end. Yeah. And just um, speaking quickly, just about your import, your imports this year, mm -hmm. um, you know, a couple of new guys as well as Sammy back. How, how, how's it going in that locker room? Yeah, there? it's it's a fresh start um, after the dismal two years that we had. Mm. So, you know, there's a saying, you want, the right, you want the right guys, not the best guys. But I think, you know, we found a good mix of both. Yeah. Yeah, awesome dude so far, great first impressions, and they fit right in. So, yeah, yeah a lot to look forward to this year. Awesome. All righty, well, we'll leave you to it. Go Thank have you. a shower. We're going to have a chat with uh, Connor. All right, guys. Take care. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Bert.
Well, that was North Stars captain Bert Molloy. We're just having a bit of a chat, and we're going to get uh, Connor Schultz on. Hey, Connor. Hey. We're just throwing you right in it today on, on the North Stars yep. Live. How's it going? Yeah, good. How are you? Good. So, you played your first AIHL game. Yeah. yeah. How was it? Um, very nerve wracking at yeah. start, but once you got on the ice and touched the puck, kind of settled down a little bit and just yeah. started enjoying it. Oh, great. So talk to me, uh, was it was it what you imagined or was it different or what, yeah, what was it like out um, there for you? It was definitely what I expected. It was yeah. high paced hockey and uh, good speed. Yeah. Just happy to be out there, get yeah. pucks deep. So talk to us, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Connor. Um, are you from Newcastle? Yeah, I'm from Newcastle. I was born here and uh, watch first ever game, watch the North Stars and a little bit of travel over in yeah. Canada playing hockey and came back and just playing here now. Yeah, so you've played over in Canada with yeah, school yeah. or something like that? Uh, yeah, in a hockey academy. Great, awesome. Yeah. And uh, you've been training with the North Stars since January? Yep. Yeah, great. And you're, you play with the North Stars Midgets, is that right? Yep. yep. How long have you been playing with them for now? Um, I've been playing for the North Stars, just the, the junior mm -hmm. club, probably since about 2011. And uh, with the midgets, uh, just last year and this year. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, enjoyed your experience out there? Yeah, for sure. It was uh, really fun just getting in the, uh, getting getting the, in the change things. room and getting with the boys. It's good. Oh, awesome. All righty. Well, we'll let you get back and we'll uh, see you next time. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> see you, Connor. See you. Awesome. Well, that was Connor Schultz, uh, North Stars rookie, and, you know, our first one since 2016. I think the start was, then we'll get Ka uh, Kev, Gav, <laughs> Kev, yeah, oh dear, Gavin back. <laughs> hey Gav, how's yeah, it going? Like, good, good. So yeah, I just had a really fantastic chat with Dave Ruck, um, Rob Hazelhurst as well, yep. John and um, Bert and Connor, yep. yeah, all really great. Um, Bert was speaking about, yeah, the fact that, you know, after a dismal two years, it's really important to... Oh, it's a good start for yeah, the North Stars, absolutely. yeah, like they're going to take a lot of, um, you know, strength out of this game and the last weekend as well. We play at Adelaide tomorrow night yep. and um, we've got to come in that game with some positive thoughts and positive, you know, we're, we're playing really well. Like yeah. um, our top top line is like, as we saw with the scoring, like they've, they're all getting points now. So they'll get some good flow from that and yeah, um, yeah start to keep moving. Big test coming up against some other teams. Again, yep. we haven't seen Adelaide. Um, not sure what their score was that they played yeah. tonight, but um, yeah. Should be good tomorrow. All right. Well, we'll leave it there, but we will be back tomorrow um, for Adelaide's game. Um, we'll see you then.